my God. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, there it is. Well, hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, March 18th, which can only really mean one thing. It's Mother Truck and Vlog Day, you guys. Yeah. Appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Should be a whole lot of fun between, look, between you, me, and the iMac here, I might have, without thinking, just hit my Delta 8 Sativa cart like 20 minutes ago. So yeah, should be uh, should be a real fun vlog, you guys, for anybody watching on the replay. Where's my replay crew at? Make yourselves known. Comment down below, replay crew. In fact, if you've never commented on a Grim Green video before, make this the one. Just comment down below. Tell me a joke. I don't know. Comment on the video. Tell me how you like the Dixon. This is the chainsaw. It's coming off right now because it's way way too hot way too is it too am I, am I a little too hot a little too hot in the mic there Ga, uh gani goo goo sorry dixon has to come off oh my god i'm sweating under here you know i'm really working hard for that dixon sponsorship i, I really am I'm, i want their sponsorship but sometimes dixon flannel co it's just too warm to wear a dixon so you go over there but yeah let me do uh let me do a quick rundown for you guys of course we have a beer and a what i've been vaping that's like a staple you know uh we definitely are going to be doing a very random liquid tasting that you guys are going to have to help vote on i have a retro vape that's been the same retro vape that's it's been the same retro vape for like three weeks now and we haven't gotten to it and it's just the weirdest little old piece of retro vaping but it's there um we got some christian death metal tonight coming up be sure be sure to stick around for the Getting to Know Grim Green segment at the end of the vlog. If you want to leave and come back, that's fine too. It should start in about two hours, maybe an hour and 40 minutes, but uh, we're going to be listening to my old Christian death metal band, and I have some graphical accoutrements that's going to be hilarious. You ever seen a picture of Grim Green with pink hair? Yeah. Well, you will tonight, but uh, welcome, you guys. I guess before we get too far into this uh, vlog here, we got to do that thing. You know, it's my new favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. So right now he's up there in uh, in uh, in Boston. What say you? Hey, what's up, Grim? It's Kevin. Yummy, yum, yum. Just want to say hi, and just want to say that I appreciate you standing up for vaping rights and love your show. Can't wait to to see the next one. I want to give a shout out to my wife, Megan, and. I know you said that you weren't a big fan of roots. I'm currently on one, taking a couple tooth off my uh, my little V mate that you suggested. And it's a it's a little flavor bang. I like it. I saved the the big stuff for for home. So just give you a quick look. I don't know if you can see it very good. There's Boston. Yep, my hometown. Yeah, Kevin Yum Yum up there in Boston, dude. A, I just like the Boston accent, and I like the, uh, you know, I leave the big stuff at home. But sure, uh, definitely shouting out your wife, shouting out Kevin Yum Yum, shouting out, I mean, literally the city of Boston. It was in the video. There's no reason not to shout out the entire city of Boston, but uh, thanks, Kevin Yum Yum. Uh, I love hearing from my subscribers, so if you have a video similar to Kevin Yum Yum's that you'd like to send over and see featured in this vlog, you can do it. Send it on over, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, that one thing. Chances are I'll see the attachment and it will get, you know, downloaded, filed, and used accordingly. The big problem I run into with these is I'm bad at organizing things on my computer. So I found Kevin Yum Yum's video in just some weird random folder when I'm going through and cleaning stuff. And I went, oh, that's where that downloaded to. Okay, cool, awesome. So that's uh, <laughs> that's the big hurdle that I have to overcome with those. But you can send them over to me. It can be uh, literally anything. I'd like to see pets, honestly. I mean, truly and honestly. If I had a, a Mission America, like the old AFV videos with Bob Saget, Mission America, I'd like to see your pets. Just gonna throw that out there. What up, evil teacher? We're gonna shout out those vapors in Mexico when we get to the news and advocacy, bro. Stoked you're here. Um, let's do, uh, I, I do wanna drink a beer. I mean, I would like to drink a beer. Before we drink a beer though, there's one little fun thing. I hear this, hang on, hang on. Actually, sh before beer, I saw some super chats come in. Let me do this because I don't use Stream Deck. Let's do a couple of those super chats that came in.
Look at that. He even played the whole freaking bumper. Level 5 Loki. Uh, yo, yo, I can't watch live tonight, so it's replay crew during the drive to work at 5 a.m. Wanted to stop and say hi. Getting rid of Bloomberg. Getting rid of the B. <laughs> He's a GDB. Because uh, community's references make life better. Yes, community references always make life better. We're getting rid of Bloomberg. Tyler B., Thank you for that. Uh, bro, nothing better than some re-wicking while watching live dangle clacks. Hey, hang on. There hasn't been any dangle clacks here yet, I don't think. Keep on vaping. Oh, and a mother trucking vlog day. I appreciate, <laughs> appreciate that, Tyler B. Now, now what we're going to do, it's time. Let's have a, let's enjoy a, a beer, a hopped beverage tonight. <laughs> We have a beer tonight from uh, Brew Dog. I just picked this one out the other night. Brew Dog OG Hazy New England IPA. This came to us via Daniel Two Trips. Haven't seen Daniel Two Trips in the chat in quite a bit, but bro, Daniel Two Trips, if you catch the replay, I hope you're doing good. Thank you for the beer. We're gonna drink this. I always say, I mean, it's it's been years now. There's no reason to even repeat this. I used to just not be an IPA guy. And then suddenly one day I drank an IPA and I was like, this is awesome. And so I just suddenly started liking hazy IPAs, IPAs in general, and hazy IPAs. Poon Sauce, I know you're on that, you know, barrel aged Imperial Stout train right now. I'm gonna be pouring this into my, uh, you know, it's that Grim Army uh, pint glass. These are still sold out on Grim Army merch and I apologize. I'm just moving real slow on getting new glasses ordered because I want them to be cool and we're going to do a cool four pack of them. Look at that. Look at that haziness. Look at that hazy, Jay Blaze. You can't look at that and tell me that's not hazy IPA. It's like a, that's like a beer commercial. That looks perfect. Anyway, um, from what I understand, this is a pretty highly rated beer. I kind of spoiled it a little bit by looking on Beer Advocate, but uh, I'm excited about it. Hazy IPA. Cheers, guys. Yeah, that's real good. Yeah, that's real good. Citrusy, super hoppy. You get a little bit of that piney flavor to it. What I've found with hazy IPAs is they, you know, the big problem that everybody has with IPAs is like, ah, oh, so bitter. So bitter. IPA is so bitter. I used to be that guy. I used to be that guy until you learn that there's good bitter and bad bitter. And what I find out of the hazy IPAs is like that good, bright, like tangy, citrusy, jowl, mouth-wateringly sensation. I just really love it. I get some upfront sweetness on this. Delicious. This is this is delicious. Oh, there's this back note that it it, it tastes like a like artichoke, like an artichoke heart, but not the good part of the artichoke heart the bad part of the artichoke heart that you have to peel away till you get to the good part of the artichoke heart. I guess that's just the artichoke, right? Then just the artichoke leaves, but not even like the good leaves, like the bad leaves, but in a good way. None of that makes any sense. I'm just trying to explain what's happening in my, uh, in my mouth. Yeah. There's like a weird, uh, sort of vegetable, like garden, garden vegetable component to this. Interesting, real unique. Damn, that's delicious. Um, I might pair it with this. This is the new Turkish cream. We, I think we just got this last week. He sent me some 12 milligram. So I put it in the K-Fun. Eh, might as well give it a shot. This is kind of, it's a real weird, ambiguous flavor. It's like sweet, creamy cream. It's sweet. It's like sweet, creamy cream. I can't really think of any other way to explain it. There's a little bit of like a slight graham pie crust kind of thing going on. It's real nice in a 12 milligram. Hang on. Burp life is about to happen. Shit. Ugh. There it is. Damn. I used to be able to time those better. Okay. Let's do this beer pairing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's good. That's fine. That actually made the beer feel a little sweeter. Gave, gave a little bit more sweetness, I think, to the beer. Mm. This is actually a really good juice. Yeah, I mean, it goes well together. I, you know, IPAs tend to go towards like citrusy stuff. If I had, I used to have a liquid. I used to sell a liquid that was specifically for beer pairings and it had like this citrusy component to it. I wish I, I wish I had some uh, some normal view right now or no, vlog day. I wish I had some vlog day e-liquid right now. Anyway, that's the beer. It's delicious. Uh, I hope you guys have something good and delicious and frosty next to you. I know for sure at least Poon Sauce does. I know for sure I can count on Poon Sauce having a big old beer. Having a big old beer. AG Hazy IPA. Damn. Good shit. All right. Uh, well, here. I wanted to actually do a few like... Uh, where, do, do I have the bumper anymore? It's not getting to know Grim Green. It's, uh, you know, shout outs. I have, it's like some shout outs, favorite comments of the week. My favorite comments of the week bumper is gone. It's okay. Here, let's do this. Let's hydrate real quick. And then I want to do kind of some favorite comments of the week because there's been some pretty entertaining stuff. Yes, Sally S. We're going to sing, we're going to sing happy birthday. I think we're going to sing happy birthday every vlog uh, until forever because <laughs> there's birthdays every single day. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Hydro homies. Um, I was chugging water. You might see a, a paid uh, sponsor kind of thing on this video. This is it. It's it's the coldest water bottle. They're a sponsor of this vlog. Uh, this is the, obviously the greatest water bottle I've ever used. I live in the valley in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles, California. I, in the summertime, I used to fill this up with ice water go swimming in my pool, leave this in the sun, 100 degree plus temperatures. It becomes so hot, you can't even pick it up. I can flip up this lid and get just cold, delicious, crispy water. It's my favorite water bottle. It literally never leaves my hand. I mean, okay, it obviously does leave my hand sometimes. Like, look, I got to shower and sleep and brush my teeth. So Sometimes it leaves my hand, but it never really leaves my side. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to grab a coldest water bottle. Plus, this is the big 64 ouncer, and that is just a perfect palette for stickers, which I sell sticker packs, BT dubs. Addy Tooney will throw the link in the chat. <laughs> that is a really good beer. Okay, so I had a few like kind of shout out things that I wanted to do. I wanted to share some stories and I, 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 these are things that I had posted on Twitter, I think in the last few days, but Bridget, Bridget left this comment on a video and she said, I'm usually a lurker, but I had to comment. Uh, my father, who is a smoker, just finished 12 weeks of chemo for colon cancer. He tried to quit smoking, but couldn't. So he smoked through his whole treatment and is still smoking. <clears throat> Pardon me, that burp was Poorly timed, uh, also poorly timed. Uh, Third one, very poorly timed. A little fifth week one, th fourth week one, oh, very poorly timed. I have tried to get him, uh, he is still smoking. I've tried to get him to switch to vaping because of all the anti-vape propaganda. He thinks vaping is no better than smoking. For a while during Evali, he thought I was going to die from vaping. I at least managed to convince him that it had nothing to do with nicotine vaping. I wish I could get him to switch because he he just fought for his life and he keeps on smoking. And I, I'm not sharing this to, to like depress anybody. I'm just sharing this to get Bridget's story out there because Bridget's father matters. And the idea that he doesn't want to switch to smoking because the media and FDA have convinced him that he thinks it's no better than smoking. He's just going to continue to smoke. And that is heartbreaking. Bridget's life matters. Bridget's father's life matters. And there are powers, you know, that are trying to keep, keep people like Bridget's father from getting the harm reduction products that they really desperately need. It's, it's infuriating. So 
it's whatever. Take a screenshot, share Bridget's story. Uh, like Alex was saying on the last TBN show, um, it matters. It matters. Your stories really do make an impact. Your stories matter. Thinking other stories, Beth, 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 32 year smoker, two and a half packs a day during COVID. I started vaping during COVID, which A is a brave move anyway. If you're listening to like the mainstream media with Evoli and like lung damage and the real cost telling you that there's heavy metal particulates being jammed into your throat. That's a bold move to, I think, to start vaping during quarantine, started vaping during COVID. I'm down to seven cigs a day now. I'm celebrating this. I feel like this is a huge success. Anti-vapers will tell you that she's a dual user. Oh, bad, bad to be a dual user. You either have to switch or, or not switch. You don't, you can't dual use. That's the worst. Stanton Glance, even, to, even tonight. We're gonna to talk about Stanton Glance. Where, where's old Glancy? Where did I put old Glancy? Where, where is he? he got Jesus, just sneaks up on you. <sighs> so yeah, we're gonna be talking about Stanton Glance later. He would have told her it's it just either stop, quit vaping or quit smoking because doing worse is doing both is worse for you. But she's down to seven cigarettes a day. I have one pack left and my goal is to make it to my last. Thank you all for keeping me motivated. This was Beth from the chat. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't remember if this was a vlog or a TBN, but Beth, 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 Beth. I believe in you, Beth. You can get down to zero cigarettes a day. Just vape more. As we'll discuss later, vaping more makes vaping more successful. Uh, Stanton Glance is upset about that too. He, he's really upset about that. Um, I had one uh, other, there was a super chat that I missed somehow, which is unacceptable in my opinion. Unacceptable. Three years smoke free, B dang. I will not go back to smoking. We will find a way. Yeah, let's keep on vaping. No matter what anyone says, let's keep on vaping. Absolutely, B dang. I important words and uh, I appreciate the super chat and I sorry I didn't get to it earlier. Lee, this was from the, just a random, I screen capped the chat. Uh, you absolute legend, it's my 10 year vape anniversary next month. Give me a shout out, man, LOL. LOL no longer, Lee MC, LOL no longer. You are officially shouted out. Congratulations on your 10 years smoke free. From what? From just this, this is all, it's just the thing. And it works and it will always work and it will always work better than gum and it will always work better than patches. Lee, consider yourself shouted out. Congrats on your 10 years. I think that's kick ass. And then lastly, and anybody else who has a birthday today, make yourself known so that I can say, I know exactly J Bass, Beth, 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 Beth. I love it. I just, it's so motivational. Like just because I'm, I was a smoker and I know what it's like to smoke cigarettes. And I know that like, Oh, it's Wednesday. I need to go to the smoke shop to get my two packs of cigarettes to make it through the rest of the, you know, to make it through the next two days or something like that. I know that feeling of make sure you have your cigarettes, you know where they are. Okay, good. You have this cigarette, you know, you have your morning cigarette planned. You have your lunch cigarette planned. You have all your cigarettes like planned throughout your day and just implementing just again, just this down to seven cigarettes a day. That's incredible. That is incredible. I think I, that is an absolute win. And, uh, there's no reason to not celebrate that, but this is, uh, Jacoby, Jacoby vapes. Are you here tonight? Uh, this is a testament to, I should check my Instagram DMs a lot more often. Uh, he hit me up and said, Hey Grim, I just wanted to see if I can get a happy birthday song in the vlog tomorrow. Of course, my birthday is today, <laughs> 224. Uh, thanks so much for all you do and being the best, 224. So roughly a few days short of one month late. Here's a happy birthday to Jacoby Vapes and anybody else in the chat who has a birthday, I'm singing directly at you. Happy birthday to you. Lee, sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jacoby Vapes. And anybody else in the chat who has a birthday, Red Vapes and myself have birthdays tomorrow. J Blaze Coils, happy birthday, J Blaze Coils. <laughs> 
Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. You know the rules. Skip around the room. Anyway, uh, so that's the last of the uh, favorite comments of the week. Shout out, whatever you want to call that little weird segment that we just did. But uh, what should we do? Should we open some mail? Should we do this really out of order? Let's open mail. I have two packages. I don't think I've ever opened mail in the first half hour of a vlog before, but this is crazy. Let's do mail, then we'll do super chats, then we'll do news. Ah, Febreze, that is Febreze scented garbage bags. Yeah, like I said, uh, I only had, uh, oh shit, you know what we didn't do? What I've been vaping. Ah, who cares? We'll do what I've been vaping right after this. Dude, I told you this was gonna be a weird vlog. I told you, I knew it. Dejugula, are you in the house, Dejugula? I know I got some coils from you. Wait, these might not be coils. These might not be coils, Dejugula. Grim is a good singer. D Thank you. I'm, I'm not, but thank you. You know what notes I was singing there? Nope, <laughs> I don't either. Neither do I. It's just nothing. It's just gibberish. Hand and robot made in Italy. Okay, first of all, this is a cool box. That's a rad little wooden burned box. Now the question is, how do I open it? <laughs> is it just a, uh, is it just a, Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, these are billet box buttons. Billet box buttons. These are billet box buttons. That's just a fun word to say. Billet box buttons. Billet box buttons. Billet box buttons. Oh, shit. Okay, you will not be able to appreciate. <gasps> oh, shit. Okay, you will definitely not be able to appreciate this, but these are billet box buttons. There are some mission style switches. There's a few square guys. These don't look 3D printed. They look uh, like cast, plastic, like uh, out of a mold. These don't look 3D printed, but there's two like mission switches. And then there's two round switches. There's no way on earth you will ever be able to see this. Maybe. Do you see the little stormtrooper? Oh, do you see the little stormtrooper on the button? Do you see the little stormtrooper on the button? That's cool. That's effing cool, Juggala. That's rad. Okay, so I have a billet box button with a uh, with a stormtrooper on it. Feels like it would be uncomfortable, but who am I to judge? I won't know until I install it. Sick, sick billet box billet boxes. Yeah, sick. Oh yeah, we have to do what I've been vaping after this because I have a little bit of an update on the Linkda, on the Linkda, and all of the drama of the Linkda. Good lord. Good lord. Yeah, that is a cool billet box button, Derek. I agree. I a hundred percent agree. Okay, last package. Dan, is there a Dan in the house? This doesn't uh, look or feel like literally anything vape related. Feels like nothing vape related. It feels like there's a fabric in here and I I need to be careful when opening it. Yep. What is this? Where are you? What are you? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh Dan. Juice my way, Dan. Juice my way, Dan. Look at that. I can put on a mask if I want to. Yeah. I heard you're supposed to wear masks in your house now, which is weird. I don't know how they're going to enforce that. Uh, Juice My Way. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Dan. He sent over uh, T-shirts. I have a right to a safer alternative. Fuck the bands. FTB. FTB. I have the right to a safer alternative. Fuck the bands. Uh, and he did t-shirts. Here, let me read the uh, literature, Dan. Oh, I see you there in the chat. Yep, we've talked about this. Here you go, brother. Hope these FTB shirts make it into make it to you safely. I'm sure these shirts will change absolutely nothing, but hey, they are awesome. They are pretty awesome. Uh, included are some stickers and a bumper sticker. Juice My Way group has one major motto, and it's if the world had a few more grims, we may have won the war. <laughs> 
Well, I really appreciate that. Uh, the very kind words. Never stop, man. What you do is phenomenal work and inspiration to thousands of vapors worldwide. Stay safe, green, and good luck in all your future endeavors. These FTB shirts can be found on my Facebook group, JWM Premium. Is that, That's the name of the Facebook group, JWM Premium. Juice my way, family, to yours. Uh, the mic stand called me. She said she would love a, a sticker. Oh, <laughs> you want me to put an FTB sticker? Look, you can't just request to get a sticker on the mic stand. In fact, I've, I've added a kosher coil sticker way down here. Kosher coils. It's off camera, but I've added the kosher coils sticker. Well, we'll see. I'll, I'll take it under. I'll take it under consideration. Juice my way, Dan. <laughs> Appreciate that. And yeah, t-shirts. Sick. T-shirts, stickers, and billet box buttons. Like, hi, that's awesome. Um, what I decided I need to do before the end of the month is make a big old liquid from a big old order from Liquid Barn. Someone in the chat and mentioned that they were vaping Water Malone and son of a bitch. I just wanted to vape some Water Malone so bad. As soon as I saw the text on the screen, I just went, oh, Water Malone, give it to me. But that's it. That's it for mail. The, we got through the mail in the first half hour of the vlog. It's going to be a weird night, guys. Going to be a weird night. So uh, let's write now. We'll do some super chats. Here, let's do the, uh, where's the thingy? Boop, 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 boop. Let's do some super chats. Yeah. That's like, we don't, that's in, that's too long of a bumper to even do that. Holy crap, what did I miss out on here? Um, New Wave Dave, two bucks just because? New Wave Dave. New Wave Dave, everybody. Show New Wave Dave some love. Uh, B-Dang, hey, there you are. Grab a Miller High Life on me, broski. B-Dog, how do you know that I love Miller High Life? How did you know that I love a Miller High Life? Tanker money, boxes and boxes of liquid on the way. Glad I had the funds to do it. Uh, thanks for all you do, man. Freedom. I know freedom. I hope, you know, I've never told people to stock up. This is the first time T TBN this week was the first time in my life in 11 years of grim greening. I've never told anybody to stock up. Never I said, no, that's not the answer. Don't stock up. Let's fight. Here we are. It's 2021 and I'm telling people to stock up. I'm telling people to buy spare mods. This is something I cannot stress enough and I will be stressing it until the end of April. Buy a backup mod, buy it. You won't know when you won't need it. Buy it and then buy a mech and then buy a backup mech. Like liquid will be easier to acquire, I think maybe than hardware. But again, we don't know. Anyway, we're not there yet. I haven't, we're not into the news and advocacy, but uh, yes, tanker money. New Wave Dave, anyone else stop in the middle of doing something and realize you were way too high to be doing what you were doing? Uh, yes. I'll just say yes. Eifer. <laughs> hey, just want to say hey and yo yo. Catch the replay. Busy at home. Eifer. No excuses necessary, my man. I appreciate you, Eifer. Uh, SVK Vapes, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Lay's dill pickle, ch pickle chips are legit. Thanks again for all you do, and hello to all of you beautiful yo-yoy kids. That's to all of you yo-yoy kids from Mr. SVK. And yeah, bro, how good are the Lay's dill pickle chips? They're the best things. I can't, I can't stop eating them. We cannot stop eating them. Rob, very gracious of you. Can I get a shout-out for my new rescue Pitbull puppy. Her name is Zoe and she's adorable. Yes, absolutely. We'll shout out Zoe. In fact, Rob, please email me, nick at grimgreen.com. Pictures of your Pitbull puppy rescue Zoe. I just need to see it. Sorry, you don't have an option. Please send them over to me. I'll remind you tomorrow again. Viking Vapor. Uh, my birthday was January 4th. Do I still get a shout out? Sure. I mean, look, you want me to sing again? You look, I sing once. And you were included in that Viking Vapor. You didn't hear your name? I thought I said Viking Vapor. And when I was singing Happy Birthday, you guys, you guys heard it. Here, you get, you give you a fist bump there, buddy. And uh, happy birthday to you, Viking Vapor. The happiest of Viking birthdays to you. Uh, Chip, very gracious. Four years ago today, I walked into a vape shop. I was uneducated about vaping. Thought I had to quit smoking in order to start vaping. Thanks, Grim, for everything. Look, Chip, I, I'm, I'm just here to... 
help whoever I can for however long that I can help them. That's what I've determined after doing this for 11 years and seeing subscribers come and go and people come and leave and they come and they quit smoking and then, you know, they'll, they'll vape for a while and then they'll quit vaping and they'll just go and they'll, you know, and I helped them for however long they were around, you know, and that's just the conclusion that I've come to. Like, I, I don't think there's a person in the chat tonight and, and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know that there's a person viewing this tonight. Ha, subscribers since 2012. If you're subscribed before 2012, I would be surprised because that's just what I see. It's it's a little bit of a revolving door. And you know, some people, uh, Travis, he's been around since 09. And there's some people who just stick around and there's some people who come and go and then they'll come back, you know, and be like, hey, Graham, it's been a minute. How you been? I'm like, oh. I, I remember how you did. Welcome back. How's it? You, what, you need a mod? You need an RDA? What do you need? It's just interesting. You know, it's just, uh, it's just interesting, Chip. And I'm glad, I'm glad I got to be a part of that journey for you. Dave, Legion Vapes, <laughs> Legion Vapes sent you. All right. Shout out, Dave. Shout out, Legion Vapes. Vape Kitty, it's such a bittersweet thing waiting on my last few vape mail packages. I ordered a K-Fun Light Plus and an Aspire Mick and some Umturk MTL Aliens. You're in for a really good vape, Vape Kitty. In fact, we're going to talk about what I've been vaping in just a second. But Kennedy, I'm not a stalker. I'm the Kennedy. Hello, the Kennedy. Welcome to Thursday Vlog Goof Off Shenanigans. Welcome, Kennedy. Happy to have you here. And I think, I think, I, I think there's an imposter face meet. I'm just going to say it. I don't know if it's the real face meet that's been hanging around. I think, it, I don't know if it's an imposter face meet or like some sort of alternate face meet, but there is a different face meet. Uh, I feel like we need a, uh, in, a a definite investigation into this. Okay, let's do uh, real quickly. I want to talk about a few things I've been vaping. So timestamps. Yeah, welcome to what I've been vaping. I, I forgot to load the bumper, but here's a few things that I've been vaping. Technically, it's a little out of control because... Uh, I just like to set things up and I can't help it. I can't not set things up. When something arrives, I just set it up. And uh, sometimes when I'm tearing things down, it, this is the worst thing that I do is I'll tear something down. Like let's say I want to tear down this Mando mech recoil combo. What I'd end up doing is I'd tear this down and then I'd just put another RDA on the Mando and then put this recoil on another mech. So I didn't really like tear anything down. It just multiplies and I'll think, oh, I can put that tank over here. Oh, this step, I can use that. I should put, I can put this over here. I can use that on this and I'll put, you run it like that for a while. And then I can't not set up things. I have a sickness. It's a disease of setting up things. I set up too many setups all the time. So technically here is everything that's on my desk right now, starting from left to right. I think that's a K-Fun mix with the, uh, that's a K-Fun with the, on the mix. That's a bluegrass, the billet box with the link duh on the inside. That's a snow cap with the type two on it with an Oleg drip tip. That is two Inakin censuses. That's the giant def mods with the giant Valhalla 40 millimeter on top. That's the Mando from Russian custom mods powder coated by Palmer's powders with an OG recoil on top. That's the Thelema DNA 250C with the reload SRTA on top. That's the whirls. I have a Deathwish Mods conduit with the JP Juggernaut MR on top. That's the Vupu Argus with those Watofo rebuildable PNP coil heads and the stacked Suicide stacked tube mech uh, and the Valhalla 25. I also have my, you know, my pods. It's the Winax and it's the V through. And then recently I got the Lux Q, which. I had really high hopes for the Lux Q and it's really interesting ever since I've discovered the V through the V through has been the pod. It's it. That's all I want to use. I think this is better than anything on the market right now. Truly and honestly, the V through this is like my gold standard. I'm comparing everything to this now. I had pretty high hopes for this uh, Lux. You know, I think a few reviews are out there for the Lux. I'm still using mine. Eh, eh. It's okay. Now, as far as out of all of that malarkey, what I'm actually using, the K-Fun Mix combo is something that I think is just going to be a staple forever. I just love it. I might replace the K-Fun with a Pioneer or an Ether from time to time, but the mix with an MTL, 
that's kind of where I've landed uh, 12 milligram on the inside of that. Um, additionally, been using this like crazy snow cap mods with the type two, and that's an Oleg drip tip. And I'm gonna try to show you. Can you see what's on the drip tip? Can I zoom in? Yeah, oh, I forgot I can do this. You see what's on that drip tip? It's just lightsabers. It's just lightsabers engraved in it. That's rad, come on. That's rad as hell. Uh, and I really, really like it, been using it. I'm gonna make sure I zoom all the way out next time. It's so good. I, I just really like the Type 2. It's crackly, flavorful, and on a mech with a 0.11. It's honestly really nice. If crab people, yeah, <laughs> crab people. MMC, we got to talk about crab people later. Um, but that's been really, really awesome. Shockingly, this has been getting the most use of anything on my desk. Uh, it's that Def Mods with the Valhalla 40 millimeter on the inside. I put some AJ Holland three and a half millimeter coils. Uh, it's a 0.3 and I have it at 140 watts. Vaping on, where you at Jake Scrapwood? That's the vanilla bourbon honey tobacco. Effing delicious 9,000. It's just so good. I miss cloud chasing. Like I spend so much time with MTL stuff. I just miss cloud chasing sometimes. And this Valhalla has awakened my inner like AV life, flawless vape shop, cloud comp champion sort of 2016 mode. And I just fog up my office every single day because this is awesome. And these AJ Holland coils give me that like deep, good crackle, deep, deep, rich, good crackle. And that bourbon vanilla honey tobacco is so effing delicious, Jake Scrapwood. I get why you vape it every single day. I get why it's your all day vape. The interesting thing about this RDA is I get, I've gotten into a different cycle with it because you can't bleh directly onto your coils. You bleh down into the juice well, and then it kind of has to carry up your, co up your wicks to your coils. So what I've been doing is after I'm done vaping, <laughs> after I'm done vaping, I'll put like two full dropper fulls of liquid into the deck, right? And then I'll set it aside. I'll just set it. So the next time I go to pick it up, everything's gonna be juicy, wet awesomeness. Wet as cotton. And then after I'm done vaping it, I'll juice it again. So I know with this Valhalla that every time I go to grab it, it's gonna be juiced because I got into this alternate juicing method. It's just interesting and I just, you know, I just picked it up with that Valhalla. The Whirl S, like, let's laugh at this thing, that's fine, but for mouth to lung, it's been banging. I love the auto switch on it and it has remained on my desk. Hasn't really been giving like the, the Vupu V through a run for its money, ha! But damn, it's a good mouth to lung. Tobacco, I think I have a uh, Tribeca from Halo in here. Really good mouth to lung. And then I guess lastly, I wanna mention the the billet box. I got the bluegrass right here with another Oleg drip tip on there. And I got the linked on the inside. And I did a build stream for the linked and someone from Wicked was in the chat and giving me really good like pointers, I, you know, and I was asking for help and, and I tore my first build out of there and I'm like, no, I wanna do this right. Like, I don't wanna fuck this up. I want this to be great. It, it kept giving me like check atomizer, check atomizer. It's whatever. So I rebuilt it. I, I wicked it correctly with the, you know, the, the way that the guy said and I had picture references to go with. And look, billet box stuff is just fiddly. There's no way around it. Every billet box thing I get is fiddly. You just assume that, you know? It's just gonna be fiddly. The level of fiddliness will vary depending on your bridge, but damn it, billet box stuff is just fiddly. If I wanted to rewick this right now, I would probably cry because it's it's an involved process. And so I was wicking it, and especially with this one, you gotta get cotton up. You jam a bunch of cotton into these wick holes. I had it there, and it, va it was vaping great on the stream, vaping great all day long. I filled it up three or four times and I'm just cranking away on this Hogat's butterscotch awesomeness. I'm like, kick ass. I love the linked. Set it down. 
overnight, came back, it had emptied itself all, all over my desk. So I did that, I did an Instagram video of it and people got really mad. People got really mad that I posted a video of a wiki, of a leaky linked. And I don't, I don't, I guess I just don't understand because I've never in the history of Grim Grim, I've never been like this thing leaked. Fuck that thing. Like, of course I'm going to rebuild it at least a thousand more times. At least I'm going to, you know, and of course I'm going to re-wick it at least a thousand more times. And maybe like 10 of those times that I re-wick it, it'll leak. And the other, you know, 990 times I do it, it'll be perfect. I'm not going to just write something off. And people started taking it really personally that I posted that leaked. Like, you didn't do it right. You were, mm. Wicked is a small company. I'm like, I know. Look, let's hi. Let's calm, let's calm down here. I'm a fan. I like Wicked. I like the bridged. I like the linked. It's a little bit fiddly. Like, we're just we're just we're just having the conversation here, man. I'm not throwing down the gavel of judgment and saying nobody buy the linked. If you can, you should buy the linked. It's more fiddly than any bridge I've ever used. I will say that it's the fiddliest bridge I've ever used. And even now. I think I overwicked it. I think I overcorrected and overwicked it because I had a few really good rips on it. And right now I just picture the cotton in there just sitting there kind of being dry. I overwicked the top cap, way overwicked it. In fact, this is gonna be dry. I know it's gonna be dry. I'm just gonna hit it and it's just gonna be dry. Yep, super dry cotton on the inside. It's not wicking down, so I overwicked it. Now, I overwicked it. So I will be re-wicking it probably a little bit later and then I'll report back on how it goes, okay? So let's all just calm down there, Mr. Leatherman on Instagram. That was a, I was blindsided by that. Anyway, um, so I really like the linked. Uh, I do need to dial in how exactly the best way to wick it, but like with all rebuildable things and all things you do repetitiously, you'll get better and better at it and faster and faster at it and you'll get that like, you know, cotton pinching muscle memory and you'll just be able to do it real quick. But there is a, there is a, I will say there's a much steeper learning curve on that linked than there is on uh, any other vape product I've ever used in the history of America. That's what I'll say. So that's really more or less what I've been vaping. Uh, really, if I had to pick one thing, it's this. Every time I sit at my desk, I just want to vape this. I just want to vape it. I'm going to do it right now and you can't stop me. Got to try to set off those uh, smoke detectors, right? Anyway, awesome. So that's really kind of some things I've been vaping. And uh, with that said, can any, is can anybody? You still need a beer? Do you still need a beer? Looks like I still need a beer too, which is weird. So let's uh, let's jump into. Uh, were there any, I think there were, I think a few more super chats came in, but I'm going to hold off on the super chats until we get past uh, the news and advocacy. Let's do a little bit of news and advocacy. Um, Cause I just love talking about my best friend, Stan and Glance. News and advocacy. Yeah. yeah. Now, where did old Glancy go? Oh yeah, there he is. Okay. Well, hang on. We're not quite to Glancy yet. I want to give a very, very sincere and heartfelt shout out to Mr. Logan X Hales from the Rise and Vape podcast and my co-host, my far left fact checker on TBN, Danielle Jones, for their new positions at CASA. CASA tweeted recently and said, Logan X Hales is joining the board of directors of CASA and Danielle Jones is the new president. Tuh of the consumer advocates for smoke-free alternatives. Harm reduction saves lives. I love CASA and I don't stand for people talking shit on CASA. If you see, if you hear anybody talking shit on CASA, you tell them Grim Green told you to shut up. CASA has done more for vaping and this industry than anybody will ever realize. <laughs> more than anybody will ever realize. So congratulations. I, I have no doubt the future of CASA's leadership with Logan and Danielle this is going to be fantastic. The only good things are going to come out of this. And, uh, you know, Logan has this really, he's so smart and he's got this rich 
history of like, he is a harm reduction guy, not just tobacco harm reduction. He is harm reduction, drug harm reduction. He, he He's very, very smart, very knowledgeable. I'm When I saw that Logan Exhales was on the board of CASA, I just went, awesome. And uh, TBN. TBN, we got it really cool. We got the president of CASA as my co-host on TBN now. So we're taking that show to the next level. I also want to give a shout out to all of the vapors in Mexico who are protesting uh, yesterday. I got tagged in at least a thousand tweets from, no, okay, I'm over, over exaggerating there. It was probably 10 or 12 tweets uh, from Mexico and Mexican vapors. Here's, this is the translated version. And they were protesting in front of Congress. They said, we're going to tell the Congress that we want fair regulations for the million vaporizer users. Maybe some mistranslations in here. It says, do not leave the Bloomberg hosts. I don't know what, exactly what that means. Vaping is 95% less harmful. And this, this is them. They're, they're protesting. And there was a bunch of pictures. There was a bunch of videos happening yesterday. And so I was, this is one of those things yesterday where I got on Twitter and I'm like, this is all stupid. And then I see Stanton glance and I'm like, Ugh, and then I get mad. And then Mexico's tweeting at me and they're going, Hey, we're protesting. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Retweet, retweet, retweet. And I'm posting stuff and I'm trying to use Google translate to, you know, to translate from Spanish to English. And I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to support these Mexican vapors. And, and I just loved it. It was so like, just inspiring to me to see them all protesting, just just demanding fair regulations. Vaping saves lives. I, I'm sick of people not recognizing that. I'm sick of Stanton Glantz not recognizing that. I'm sick of Stanton Glantz looking at studies that clearly show that vaping helps and saying, nope, I'm befuddled. It's okay, we're gonna get there in a second. We're gonna get there in a second. So uh, shout out every vapor in Mexico, every vapor in Mexico. Hundy P. Cheers to you. Um, I'm always going to link to this. This is the new greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is Vaping Demystified. This was put out by the Yorkshire Cancer Research Center in Yorkshire, England. It's a quick little 30-minute video, and it is some of the most compelling stories of ex-smokers telling their stories that you'll ever hear. It's doctors chiming in. I mean, it's Martin Dockrell, who's the head of tobacco control for Public Health England, chiming in in this video. An incredible video. If there is anybody in your life that is like, mm, vaping, send them this video. Just say, hey, take 30 minutes for me and, and watch this video. And then, we, and then we can maybe have a conversation about it. Uh, a fantastic video, cannot recommend it enough. Another thing I can't recommend enough is the Safer Nicotine Wiki. I'll always link that down below, as well as that Google Doc that Charles Gardner curated that is everybody's official stance on vaping. And guess what? They all say the same thing. Uh, it's much less harmful than cigarettes and it does help smokers quit, unless you're Stanton Glance. Oh, can't wait to get to old Glancy. If you're up there in Canada, I'm always gonna... I'm always gonna throw out rights for vapors. Good organization up there in Canada. Boots on the ground, there's a big, it's, this isn't necessarily coming from rights for vapors, but there's a big campaign coming soon for Canada that I'm gonna roll out, I'm gonna help roll out next week. I've been talking with Mike Smider, my, my, con, my Canadian contact up there, and uh, something big is getting organized and we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it next week. So in the meantime, yeah, get hooked up. Rights for vapors. USPS needs comments. They're actively seeking comments from the public on how to best handle this vape mail legislation that they've been handed. They don't really know what they're gonna do. They need feedback. Give them your feedback. As Alex Clark said on Tuesday, your stories matter. Your stories matter. Tell your stories and <laughs> tell your stories. Tell your stories to USPS ask them for clarification on nicotine containing non nicotine you know there's a chance that there is a chance at the end of this that hardware will still be fine but nicotine liquids might not be there's a chance at the end of this that none of it will be fine there's a chance at the end of this that cannabis products might be okay but nicotine products won't hardware or liquids or software as it were there's a lot in the air right now ups is making these decisions they need to hear from you I'll have a link down in the description. Follow the CASA call to action because <laughs> smash that like button, Chris. 
I agree. Everybody should do that. I'll be your best friend. Let's talk about old Glancy. God damn it. Just He just sneaks up on you there. Does he just... He does How does he do that with his eyes up, but it also looks like he's squinting? Like his eyebrows are up, but it looks like he's squinting. I don't know how he does it. Uh, Stanton Glance, for anybody unaware of Stanton Glance, um, you should definitely watch the You Don't Know Nicotine movie. He's got a great role in that. And he is, look, UCSF, University of San Francisco, old school, tobacco control, sort of, I don't know, czar type of thing. Uh, worked tobacco control, 70s, 80s, and 90s, you know, 20 plus years of experience in tobacco control. Really, really hates cigarettes, which rightfully so. Also really, really really hates vaping in a, in a pretty severe, uh, in a severe way. And when Stanton Glantz isn't having his anti-vaping studies retracted or when he's not sexually harassing his, his female subordinates, he runs a, he runs a little blog and he tweets about it and he gives his like hot takes, you know, on, on things that are going on. And there was a study recently that came out of, uh, came out of the United Kingdom, came out of the United Kingdom. And it's, uh, it's a really good study. It, it overwhelmingly shows that uh, vaping electronic cigarettes does lead to smoking cessation. I think they proved that pretty well. And Glance was, he was not, Glance was not having this. This was not in Glance's alley. He did not give his glance of approval on this because he tweeted out, a UK study shows, read this sentence a few times in your head for me. UK study shows non-daily e-cig use associated with significantly less quitting cigarettes. UK study shows non-daily use associated with significantly less quitting. That is a bizarre position to take, especially when you get to like the actual study. And I'm not going to link, I'll link to the actual study, but I'm definitely not going to link to Stanton Glantz's little blog because he doesn't need the views. He doesn't want, he, he doesn't deserve the views or the traffic. I mean, truly and honestly, UK study shows non-daily e-cig use associated with significantly less quitting of cigarettes. Stanton Glantz, you mean to tell me that if someone is a smoker and they buy a vape product and they don't use it all the time, that it's not going to work very well. And then the conclusion that you draw is that they just don't work all together. I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't get it. A recent paper published in addiction, the effectiveness of e-cigarettes for quitting smoking compared to other cessation methods among adults in the United Kingdom found that, uh, okay, <laughs> they, the UK found, the, the conclusion that the, the, the UK came to was when used daily, electronic cigarettes appear to facilitate abstinence from smoking when compared to nothing, when compared to no help. If used daily, e-cigarettes facilitate with smoking cessation. Stanton Glantz takes severe issue with that because in this study, 60% of the participants, okay, you guys, sorry, let me, uh, can I just yell at my friends right now real quick? Hang on. Uh, can you two take this to PMs? Because, uh, duh, I'm streaming and it's, dinging all over YouTube. Okay. <laughs> My friends think I'm a dick. Okay. Um, because 60, so there was 60% of the e-cigarette users in the survey were non-daily users. And because they didn't use their vape, it didn't work for them. So the conclusion that Stanton Glance is coming to is that the, uh, the vaping doesn't work. Vaping doesn't work because people didn't stick with it. Vaping doesn't work, which is, hi, that, that works for 
literally every everything on earth you can use that argument for. It's such a bizarre argument to take. He's taking the unempathetic stance of you don't know, you know, you can't be trusted to 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 dose your own nicotine. You can't be trusted to use what level of nicotine you want to use because you can't be trusted to stick with it. The conclusion that he constantly comes to is that vaping needs to be treated as prescription drugs. It's real weird. He talks about the, their finding of increased quitting among daily e-cig users and depressed quitting with non-daily users is consistent with the meta-analysis we recently published, which found the same pattern. We also found no overall association between e-cig use and quitting. So this is just a weird paragraph to me, and I've disseminated it at least a hundred different times, and I don't understand what Stanton Glantz is talking about. He says that vaping overall does not facilitate with quitting. But he said his meta-analysis also found that if smokers use it daily, it is successful, and if they don't use it daily, it's unsuccessful. And all he's focusing on is the unsuccesses. And he's saying, because of those, therefore, vaping doesn't work. What a fucking crazy ass stance to take. Could, I mean, again, you could apply this to anything. It's like, oh, hey, what's uh, Jim? Is Jim still sick? Jim still has that infection? He's like, yeah, he's just not getting better. What's I, Is he taking his antibiotics? Well, he only took one one day and then he kind of skipped a few days and then took another one and then took a few more and then might, might have skipped a day. Oh, antibiotics must not be working. That's the same conclusion that Stanton Glantz is coming to. Oh, smoker, here. Oh, you, you're an adult and you're a smoker? Here, try this vape. Oh, did it work for you? Oh, no, you didn't really use it. You only used it like one or two days. It must not work. But then he, he sort of doubles down and he talks about this, he talks about that it only needs to be, he says it twice. <laughs> he says it twice. He says it once in this blog post and once in, in his actual meta-analysis saying, whoops, that's the wrong stupid thing. Glance pattern? Nope. Oh man, I forgot a picture. Hang on, this is unacceptable. I really thought, here it is, the conclusion. Con this is the conclusion of his meta-analysis. As consumer products, in observational studies, e-cigarettes were not associated with an increased smoking cessation in the adult population. Wait, in randomized controlled trials, where their free e-cigarettes as a therapeutic intervention was associated with increased smoking cessation. E-cigarettes should not be approved as a consumer product, but may warrant consideration as a prescription only therapy. Stanton Glantz doesn't think that you're smart enough to self-medicate your own nicotine. He thinks that someone needs to do that for you because you can't be trusted to use your vape and not smoke. You know, because dual use is just the worst. If you're using both, you might as well just pick one Stanton glance. Dual use is necessary for transitioning off of combustible tobacco cigarettes. And even admitting right here, Stanton glance. During a randomized controlled trials where they're free, it was increased with uh, smoking cessation. Yeah, it was increased smoking cessation. So ultimately, people can't be trusted to use it on their own. And e-cigarettes should only be considered as a prescription therapy. Good on you, Stanton Glantz. Keep pushing for just a prescription while people continue to smoke and continue to die. And Stanton Glantz admits that there was an increased smoking cessation, but didn't really admit it. He said, well, if that, you know, I'm just, if that's true, it should only be by prescription. Only be, you, you're too dumb to vape yourself. You're too, you're too dumb to wean yourself off of cigarettes. We know your body better than you do. So this should only be available by prescription. 
That's the Stanton Glantz stance. And in the UK, that's the unempathetic stance. In the United Kingdom, which they do a lot of things right, including one of them is vaping. In the United Kingdom, when they see this 60% of people didn't stick with it and it wasn't effective for them, their conclusion isn't to say, well, it must not work and we should only make it available by a prescription. The UK, the NHS, their approach is to continue to encourage people. Say, no, no, just do it. Just use it. Keep using it. Keep using it. Keep using it. Keep using it. And they know that if you keep using it, you'll eventually quit. You just keep using it. Keep using it. They encourage their citizens. They say, no, you can do it. You're strong enough. You have the power. You have the control. You decide how much nicotine you use. Just stick with it. And Stanton Glantz is going, you're too dumb. You can't do that. We need to do that for you. Stanton Glantz, everybody. Stanton Glantz. Almost sounds like, and look, I'm not one for Rob. Tin foil hat sort of conspiracies or anything like that. Um, I do find it interesting that one of the nation's leading tobacco retired, retracted studies, sexually harasser, Uncle Touchy tobacco controllers is pushing for, uh, whoops, that's even the wrong one, is pushing for prescription only. I think that's really very interesting just because we know the hail is coming, which is going to be available as an e-cig with flavors via prescription. It's almost like they're preparing. Again, maybe I'm just drawing some insane conclusions. Maybe. Earn, you son of a bitch, I agree with you. Let's hydrate real quick. Uh, I think this is basically gonna wrap up the news and advocacy, but let's hydrate. Let's hydrate in honor of Stanton Glantz. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. A uh, exactly, Irishman. Irishman in the chat says, I can quite happily decide if I need a 7% beer or a 40% vodka, but nicotine, oh no. That's a different story. You're too dumb to self-medicate, according to Stanton Glantz. And because you're too dumb to self-medicate and because you can't possibly be trusted, to self-medicate and wean yourself off of cigarettes to vaping, we're gonna do that for you. We're gonna prescription only, and you're gonna have to stick with it. We're gonna do that for you. You can't do that alone. You can't be trusted. And in the UK, they'll go, oh, just please do it. You can definitely do this. Here, these are legal, <laughs> you know, it's whatever. We have a nicotine cap, two mil tank. That all might be changing soon. These are legal. You can go to a vape shop, buy them. No flavor bans. Everybody's quitting in the UK and they're just encouraging their citizens. In the US, shit, I forgot he was there. We have Stanton Glantz who just, look how befuddled he looks. Look at, look at the befuddlement. Look at the level of befuddlement on Stanton Glantz's face. He's like, I don't get it. I'm just so befuddled. I don't get it. Prescription only. Yeah, that was some uh, that was some rage sweat. It is pretty warm in here. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna hydrate again real quick. <sighs> okay, so yeah, uh, it's time to say uh, goodbye to, to goodbye to Stanton Glance. I guess where's the Stanton Glance picture? No, we'll just leave Stanton Glance up the whole vlog. Uh, bye, Stanton Glance. You'll be back someday again, I'm sure, when you say something else dumb on Twitter that is completely unempathetic and has nothing to do with actually really helping people quit smoking. Bye, Glance. Talk at you later. Um, the last thing I guess I wanted to share here in the news and advocacy, this is the last thing. Um, this was posted in the Grim Army group, and I'm hoping... I know. Look, here's the thing, Sally S. Here's, <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing about old Glancy. Shit. Um, he is retired. That's it. He's just a nobody. He just does nothing. He still thinks he's relevant. He's a dinosaur that is so out of touch. I don't even think he deserves a place at the table. He doesn't understand vaping. He doesn't understand harm reduction. All he understands is taxes and prohibition. And he thinks that nicotine is really bad because it addicts you to cigarettes. 
You know, Stanton Glance isn't being part of, you know, the mind study where they're using nicotine to help Alzheimer's patients. He's not part of that. He is a dinosaur. He is he has no real official power. He is retired. His anti-vaping papers have been retracted. He 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 is a dinosaur. He is he represents everything wrong with tobacco control. He represents the old guard of unempathetic quit or die mentality tobacco control. And what we need now in tobacco control is empathy, meeting people where they are and letting them ch choose from every option possible. That's how you reduce harm. That's how you drive down smoking. Go away, Stanton Glance. I'm so sick of even looking at your face. Okay, this is the last thing I want to... Uh, Sorry, Sally, that wasn't like directed at you. That was just, you said something that just, just triggered a whole thing in me. Uh, I wanted to share this story because I find it really compelling. And this is, a, this is what Ken had left on the Grim Army Facebook group. Uh, he said, taking this picture breaks my heart. I just don't understand and I'm angry. Two of my favorite vape products are being taken and most of all vaping is being ripped away from me and it hurts. I am a 100% disabled veteran and vaping is my getaway. Building coils are my peaceful go-to when my PTSD is so bad I can't leave the house or days when I'm in so much pain I don't want to move out of my chair, but it makes it so I feel like I have gotten something accomplished and it sucks that so much that... I went on deployments for this government and what I stand for starting at 17 and now 32 and it's taken so much away and on top of just like some of my friends that are retired vets, we don't make enough to even stock up to get through. So it's just another kick in the balls. Sorry for the rant. I had to say this somewhere. I tried to sh I'm share, I shared this on Twitter. I'm sharing it here now. Hearing Ken's story of being a 100% disabled U.S. veteran, which thank you for your service, by the way, PTSD, so much pain he can't leave his house, he finds joy in coil building and vaping, and short-sighted politicians not giving a fuck, not giving an actual fuck about PTSD veterans only want to protect the kids, pushed through this vape mail ban, snuck it into the omnibus budget spending bill. Of course it passed because without it, the government wouldn't have money and the government's not going to go that long without money, your money, by the way, just ripping this away from this guy. And that is unconscionable that a person who has dedicated their life in service of the military to their country now feels kicked in the balls. Un uh, unbelievable. Unfucking believable. So I'm going to put this up here. Uh, I don't know. Take a screenshot. Go to the Grim Army group. Share Ken's story around. Ken, I, I, I feel for you. I wish there was something I can do. I promise I promise I'm trying everything I can, but it, things are going to be bad for a while. And we'll, we'll keep you vaping, Ken. We will keep you vaping. The Grim Army group will keep you vaping, bro. Okay, so now that I have all the rage butter, all the, all the truth butter and all the rage sweat out of my system, let's move on past some news. Good Lord, what the hell are we even going to do right now? Um, let's do, okay, let's do the super chats. I saw, I think I saw a few super chats come in there during the news and advocacy. So, uh, because I don't have a stream deck anymore. Ha! I, I, I don't even I don't even remember where I left off on the super chats. That's right. We had Dave Lloyd. We had Vape Kitty Kennedy was there. New Wave Dave was there. Here we go. Uh, New Wave Dave, face meet for president. He's more consistent than the one we have. If nothing else, face meet is consistent. Although I believe him to be a little bit of an imposter right now, and I you know I don't want to say 
We'll do retro vaping next, I promise. This is going to be a weird one too. Uh, painting in the sky with diamonds. Uh, welcome. I haven't, I haven't seen you in the chat before. I started vaping two years ago, stumbled upon you in January, I think, when I had a question about the Valerian tank. Thank you for that info. Keep doing you. Hell yeah. Well, thank you, painting in the sky. I'm glad I was able to help with the Valerian, which is a great sub ohm tank, by the way. Great sub ohm tank. Uh, Vape and G-Man, hey Nick, I was blasting my Vindicator and listening to Crowbar and they told me to give you money. Yo, yo to the replay crew. Hell yeah, Vape and G-Man, Crowbar. Kirk Weinstein really told you to give me money? Pfft. That Kirk Weinstein, he's a hell of a guy, isn't he? Barbara, how you doing? Uh, the government sent me my stimulus so I can think of no better way to the celebrate than to spend some of it on you. Well, thank you very much. Keep on vaping, Barbara. That's my cousin, uh, Barbara, in the chat, everybody. Appreciate you, Barbara. Suburban Dirt Farmer, how you been, man? I placed a very large order on RecoilRDA.com. My last shipment will be bittersweet. I wish I could do nationwide DoorDash-style delivery for vaping. I'll never stop vaping. I'll just be a criminal. I'm okay doing the time for this. That's all. I look. I I I I admire that uh, that tenacity. I mean, that is serious. Um, there are some companies that will still be shipping. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit restricted in that they'll they'll you know you'll need signatures required. But I know for sure firsthand account that Eight Vape is definitely still shipping. They've secured alternate shipping methods. Um, Giant Vapes as well. Question mark on the end of that. Uh, if they've secured alternate shipping, um, there is also this other shipping nationwide thing. We talked all about this on Tuesday, as well as vape freight for B2B. Um, so, you know, don't think that this is the last vape mail you're ever going to get, or don't think that this is the last order you're ever going to get. Um, you know, we're here in the United States and it feels like because of COVID and because of vaping and things like that, it feels like we're separated from the rest of the world, but we're really not. Vaping is like a very global thing now. And they're protesting in Mexico. And I talked to vapors in Germany and I talked to vapors in the UK and I talked to vapors in Spain and Mexico and New Zealand and Australia and South Africa and South America. And it's it is a global movement at this point, and the evidence for vaping is only continuing to pile up. It's only continuing to pile up. So don't think that this is going to be the last time you ever try a new liquid or anything like that. Uh, Derek R., here's some money because I like giving you money for some reason. I don't know. Hey, Derek, I like it when you give me money, Derek. I'm never going to say no. Never going to say no. Your Reload Vapor SRTA is in the mail, by the way. Kevin Yum, how you doing? Glad you got the vid. File size was a pain. All good. Humble suggestions. Uh, King and Kilgore, awesome bands. Yo, those chips. I almost tossed my phone. Lol, much love. Okay, King and Kilgore. You're gonna, you might have to remind me of those, Kevin Yum. Uh, Sexy King Phil, Grim, I'm getting paid tomorrow. What should I buy? All the vape things. Also, in your opinion, what's the best RDA for flavor? Look, you're going to get my super biased answer. I, li I like the original recipe recoil. I've had an original recipe recoil up and running since the day it was launched. It's my go-to atomizer. I love it for flavor. Kennedy Vapor is having a bang and sale right now. And if you've never had a Kennedy... <laughs> Go, go now, go, go now and get one. I would, I would just would say go buy some Kennedy stuff. Uh, V1 Galmond, hi, been watching you for years. Typically a member of the replay crew, but I'm actually able to catch the live this time. Keep up the good fight. Oh, fucking A, welcome. I, I love that. I love replay crew getting the live. Welcome, Duchess Coils. Can you hear the blast beats? <laughs> Stay cloudy and vape like royalty. Is this drip tip royalty, Duchess? Because it feels, it feels stately as fuck. So good, Duchess. Every time, I, every time I see your name, bro, I just hear blast beats. Viking vapor. Thank you, thank you for that super chat. Let's, uh, we're going to try to translate this. Um, nope. This is not going to work. Let's try this. Nope. Okay. Let's try this. I know you're. I know this is Norsk, and I. I do. I cannot. Uh, thank you. Here's what I know how to say in Swedish. 
Skull. Cheers. That's all I know how to say. But uh, thank you, Viking Vapor. And uh, happy Viking Vaping. Hunky Vape. News and advocacy. Ohm Chaser Coils. Thank you. Mike P. Yo, yo. Why don't you protest again at the USA? Listen, we tried to uh, during quarantine, during the pandemic, and it was not as effective as I was hoping it would be, and it was not as widely attended as I was hoping it would be. We will again. Of course we will again. Of course. Like that's, I'm assuming that's something that's coming up probably like this summer. Is UVA on that? We're, we obviously are going to do another protest. Um, delirium. And I didn't mean that like a condescending way, Mike P. I'm saying I'm on board. I want another protest. It's really just a matter of time. Delirium. Uh, what's what that bit in Spanish says is don't let Bloomberg army get away with this. Oh, and now I have too many characters for the super chat boobs. <laughs> Thanks delirium for the uh, translation there. Yeah. I was figuring that Twitter just had some weird, uh, weird translation issues. Yeah. Don't let Bloomberg get don't let Bloomberg's army get away with this. Every country, Ireland, the Philippines, Mexico, the United States, we should all be chanting don't let Bloomberg's army get away with this because as much as I dislike Stanton Glance, as much as I think he's an out of touch tobacco controlled dinosaur, he doesn't have any like real power. Bloomberg has real power and that's scary and real money. And he's just some guy that's it. He's just some guy that thinks he knows better than you. And, and he's just an unelected, powerful person. We can't recall him. We can't vote him out of office. There's nothing. It's like, we're just helpless. You know, we're just helpless uh, peasants in the presence of the great and powerful Mike Bloomberg. He's just, I have power because I have money and I have money because I have power and I'm going to use it to control you. Uh, Landon, um, being from Utah and three year mail ban, support your local B and M and keep vaping. Yeah. Utah's had a mail ban for three years now and they have a thriving, <laughs> thriving vapors in there and lots of brick and mortars, except you can't, when I was in Utah, you couldn't vape inside the brick and mortars. Is that still a thing? Yeah. Uh, always pick the safer alternative. Eight years SIG free. You got this right on Landon and yeah, support your local B and M's. Support your local B&Ms. Ask them for lower prices. I don't think that would be a ridiculous thing to ask. Ask them if they do price matching. Hamish, shout out to Team Green Pickle. Woo! I'll always shout out Team Green Pickles. Simon, hey, Nick, just wanted to drop by and say hi. I'm in the UK. Need to sleep. That's right. My vlog my vlog's very un-UK friendly, and I apologize for that. Been my birthday today. I'm looking forward to waking up on vlog on the replay. Okay, Simon B. Earlier, when I was singing happy birthday... That is for you now too. Just go back and listen to that happy birthday. And I was singing it for you, Simon B. Christopher, random important question for you or your army. Okay, here we go. Everybody paying attention? <laughs> if I can only get one, which one? Typhon GT4 RTA or Squape A? Uh, let Christopher know in chat. I have tried neither of those things. I've heard better things about the Typhon gt4 than i have about i don't really i don't generally like squape products so i my I, my answer is going to be biased i'm going to say typhon uh here's two reindeer straight from the north pole gabe claus is in the house holy shit i need some like christmas jingle bell music for gabe claus when gabe claus is in the house <laughs> appreciate you gabe claus uh archie i feel ken's pain yeah i I too, a uh, 21 year old retired veteran. This is definitely some BS. We gave our lives to this country that would rather we die from cigarettes. Oh my God, Archie. Yes. Be mad, be angry. And honestly, like tell someone I'll, I'll, I'll tell someone, but tell someone your story is very compelling, very compelling. If you, I mean, people will listen People will listen. Things are changing. Your story matters. People will listen to a 21-year-old retired veteran who, in service of your country, went, you know, enlisted, served your country, and now they're just like, let's just fucking smoke. Fuck that. Fuck that. You deserve better. Vets deserve better. And I, that enrages me like... 
You can't imagine like, look, I'm a libertarian and I don't like the endless wars and I'm sure nobody likes the endless wars, but God damn it, support the goddamn troops. I wish they didn't have to go there in the first place, but God damn it. When, when Namber Juice was up and running, we used to ship free, free shipping to any APO address, any APO address because the military, you just, you just get cigarettes. People smoke, people just smoke. My grandfather died of cigarettes. You know where he started smoking? The army. The government got him smoking. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so enraged there. Uh, Raymond Vapes, Kennedy has been my go-to mod atomizer for years now. It breaks my heart to see them go. Shout out to Steve and the crew. Love you, Grim. Thank you. I love you too, man. And yeah, huge shout out to Kennedy. Um, one of the things that I love about Kennedy is he has made an icon in the vape industry. There's no way to look at it other than the Kennedy is an iconic mod. It's an iconic mech with an iconic RDA on it. He started off in 2014. I got one of the first Kennedys off the assembly line and it was high end and expensive as fuck. And then over the years, you know, as capitalism tends to do over the years, the Kennedy stuff got less and less expensive. And now, and Kennedy stuff is a, is, is a percentage of what it used to be, but it's still Steve, the machinist, high quality machining and, uh, I can't sing Kennedy's praises enough. I have had so many satisfying vapes on Kennedy products. I've taken Kennedy products overseas. I've taken Kennedy products to Vegas. I've taken Kennedy products everywhere. Good on you, Raymond. Fishy, yo, yo, fishy. Picked up one of each of the baked liquids and the second bottle of the CFSC. Supposed to be here on Saturday. I'm so fucking stoked to check them out. Might even place a second order before the end of the weekend. Okay, well, Fishy, here's the thing. I love you, bro. Thank you for the order. Um, baked, it's out. Because damn the man, why not drop a juice line two months before the end of the vape mail? Fucking A, go to recoilrda.com. Uh, Casey and Dwayne and I worked tirelessly on these baked liquids, and they are fire. I like the banana. Personally, myself, uh, Casey's heart and soul is in the cornflake cookie and uh, the strawberry salted caramel is, uh, it's really good shit, real good shit. So damn the man, save the empire, baked is out. Viking Vapor, here is my previous super chat in English. Okay, thank you. And you spent more money to do it. Uh, I know you like challenges, so here you get to speak some Norwegian. I hope you get to visit Norway sometime. Viking Vapor, I would love Love to visit Norway. Love to visit Norway. And it's not just because of the black metal stuff. It's because I just love it up there in like the Nordic areas. The first time I went to Sweden, it was like, I felt like I was on a different planet, you know, just incredible. And when Matthias asked me like the second time, do you want to come back to Sweden? I, it's like, I couldn't even say yes fast enough. I was like, get me back there as soon as possible. Norway, I, I will go to Norway at some point in my life, Viking Vapor, no questions, I will go to Norway and we will hang out. And I wear, I wear a big sweater with big buckles on the front, you know? That's what I wanna wear. When I think of Norway, I think of big sweaters and like salted fish and like big buckles on your big sweater and like a cool hat. We can go fishing or something, I don't know. But yes, I'm going to Norway. Christopher Hood, uh, very gracious of you. Honesty is a virtue, thank you. Look, I, you know, I try my best. I try my best. There's, there's no, there's no, uh, I, I gain nothing by being a dishonest person. I, I personally gain nothing from being a dishonest person, but uh, that's just how I roll. Do you want to taste e-liquid? <laughs> Holy shit, I do. So I made a, uh, I made a, I, I put a new liquid in the lineup. We'll get there in just one second. In fact, what I'm gonna do right now is take just a little bit of a bio break. Will you guys grant me one bio break? Thank you. I'm just gonna go pee. Can I get a hall pass? Just I just need to go pee. Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton. Uh, I'm just gonna go pee. I'm gonna run the liquid bumper and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna need you guys to vote on some e-liquid. So hang on, let me get, all right, let me get, uh, I'm going to open my door. Just, you know, quicker access. I just need to run out, okay? I'm not going to be back in time, just as a heads up. I'm not the Flash, you know. I'm not on CW. I'm not hanging out with Supergirl.
shit. Okay, yeah, did, make, did not make it back in time. Uh, I always, I, <laughs> I was cracking, <laughs> I was cracking myself up while I'm peeing, because I was thinking, what if like. What if you what if someone comes to the vlog and it's like, you know, I'm assuming that people have like segments that they like or whatever. Like if someone catches the replay, they're like, oh, I watched these two segments or I watched this segment or whatever. If someone comes to the vlog and they go from like the the mail to like the liquid tasting, they'll just click on the liquid tasting timestamp and it'll be the bumper. And then it comes back to just nothing. <laughs> That's got to be confusing if you didn't watch me before I played the bumper say that I was going to go pee and that I wouldn't be back in time. It's just, Oh, I'll check out this week's liquid tasting. Check out the liquid tasting. All right. It's the bumper. And then just nothing. Just, is this, am I being punked? Is this a joke? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for confusing you when I wasn't here. Earn's asking me to hydrate. So let's hydrate hydro homies. Uh, coldest water bottle links in the description. You can get 10% off. Use the code grim. You just feel the hydration flow through you, flow through you. Cool, Cherokee Vapor. I'm glad you're here. How was your day at work? Good. All right, let's do uh, liquid tasting. That's right. We're here to do a liquid tasting. So I'm going to need you guys to vote, okay? And so we have two returning contenders. And in honor of uh, the vape mail ban, we're going to... Uh, throw this in there. And I just want to throw this information out there as well. Um, this company, super good. They're doing a huge sale right now because they can't ship to the US anymore. They're a UK company and they can't ship to the US anymore. So they're doing 50% off, five zero. Five zero percent off, no coupon code necessary. You just have to be in the United States. If you've ever wanted to try super good, you should want to try super good. You should want to try super good. And so we're throwing a, a brand new super good banger into the random liquid tasting tonight. So returning for it's, it's, it's like fifth attempt at the random liquid tasting. This is punk juice. This is scum. This is a cherry cola, fizzy cola. This is a fizzy cola. We also got Dan juice my way. He's in the chat right now. This is so very good. These two have been up here. They, they can't seem to get past. And then we got super good butter number eight, which is peanut butter, butter, peanut butter, grape jelly, graham cracker, ice cream, peanut butter, grape jelly, graham cracker, ice cream. So you're either going to put punk, you're going to put berry, or you're going to put eight punk, berry, eight punk, berry, eight punk, berry, eight punk, berry, eight. Please vote now. Punk, berry, eight. Please vote now. Punk, berry, eight. Please vote now. Punk, berry, eight. This is punk. This is scum. Fizzy cola and cherry. So berry good. And then uh, super good butter number eight. I see. I kind of knew this was going to happen. I see some boats for very good, very good, very good. Eight, 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 eight. That's a lot of eights. Holy crap. That's a lot of eights. I can see your voices have been heard. Barry punk, punk eights. It's just eights all the way. Crazy eights, crazy eights. Go crazy. Punk Barry. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Voting has ceased. Uh, I kind of figured this was going to happen. Uh, butter number eight, one, you know, butter number eight, one. In fact, uh, butter number eight, yeah, eight, eights. It's just eights forever. Just eights all day long, you guys. Kevin Young, punk, really? Punk? I'm dizzy. I know. I need to stop looking at the chat. Let's do, uh, <laughs> hang on. Has someone been trying to text me? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I am, I do really want to try both of these, but I feel like this one tonight, this is a brand new banger from Superbad, peanut butter, grape jelly, graham cracker, ice cream, but it does need a nicotine shot, which means, oh my God, I don't have a nicotine uh, warning. I don't have a nicotine warning. Oh my God. YouTube's going to beat me up, man. I got to put this nicotine warning up here. I don't have one. I really don't have one. Really? No, this is this will not stand. This will not stand. Okay, I don't have a nicotine warning. I'm sorry. This product can contain nicotine. Here, here's your nicotine warning. There you go. 
the nicotine warning from the UK. This product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. It's not crazy addictive, though. You'd be surprised at how addictive nicotine actually is. You would be shocked, I think. So let's throw some Nick in here. Let's, uh, I'm going to now want to use something too sharp. I'll just use a screwdriver. I'm going to pop the top. And this is, again, you know, we've added nicotine shots to uh, e-liquids before in the past. And this is kind of what they have to do in the UK. It's just one of those, like, one more step, you know, between you and vaping. We don't want this done in any sort of laboratory, safe, clean room environment. We want you opening two big containers and just dumping one into the other. How, and see, here's the thing. I wouldn't even care. Oh, I'm going to need two nicotines. I forgot about that because this is a 120. Hang on. Hang on, name. Oh, the closet. Oh, you almost saw inside the closet. Google a warning. <laughs> Just Google a warning. No, I'm not going to Google a warning. You're, you've been warned. Consider yourself warned. If you don't smoke, don't vape. But look, I'm not the boss of you. And you live in, you know, if you live in America and you're a free adult, free adult American, go nuts. Go buy some Jack Daniels, some vape shit, tobacco. You could buy pipe tobacco. You could smoke. You could smoke a thousand cigarettes in a row if you want to. Because America, because you have that freedom. Now, if you get addicted to those cigarettes and you want to quit, nope, sorry, quit or die. Quit or die, motherfucker. Quit or die. We got to protect the kids. We got to protect the kids from the product that's getting adults off of smoking. That just seems like the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Craziest. Uh, <laughs> there are so many products that are only for adults. Only for adults. So many products. And we managed to keep them out of the hands of kids. We managed to somehow. Um, we're going to be tasting this out of, uh, it's a TM24. That's the Ultam cap on there, not pressed all the way down. Sitting on that Jake Scrapwood, just my damn favorite mod of all time, that Jake Scrapwood Imperial Custom DNA 250C jobber. I like tasting liquids on these coils because these are Kent's coils. These are Fralian's. And I like Fralians. Yeah. I like Fralians. Yeah. Hashtag drink hazy beers. Are you telling me I need to drink more beer? Do we need to do the test again? Do we need to do the test again? Who needs a beer still? <laughs> Who needs a beer still? Okay. Just trying to get this nice and shooken up. Shooken? Shooken's not a word. And I, I, I know that. I, sh I should know better than to say shooken. Let me do a little bit of a knuckle test. Here's the thing with the butter number eight. I've never been a, oh my God. I've never been a, uh, oh my God. I've never been a, uh, a real big peanut butter vape guy. I'm a huge fan of peanut butter in any other format. Cakes, yes. Pies, absolutely. Cookies, give it to me. Cupcakes, uh-huh. Sandwiches, fuck yeah. Vapes. Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't been the biggest, it's like, I've like 12 milligram PB parties. Great in a mouth to lung. I don't necessarily love lunging peanut butter flavors. So I'm interested. It feels like the peanut butter isn't going to be crazy forward in this. Mostly what I got out of that knuckle test was like a lot of grape jelly, a lot of grape jelly, but it says peanut butter, grape jelly, graham cracker, ice cream, peanut butter, grape jelly, graham cracker, ice cream. So we're going to put on these Fralians. Ooh, can I, can you zoom in on these Fralians? You want to see these Fralians, dude? These things are fucking rad. You see those? Is that focused? Nope. Is that focused? Nope. Kind of. That's kind of focused. These are Kent's Fralians and they're amazing. They're incredible. I love these. I love these coils. And apparently these take Kent uh, seven days to, from start to finish. I thought he was lying, but he assured me that's how long it takes. I think he said it takes so long because he also builds these while he's working out. So it's like he'll do 8,000 push-ups and then wrap some coils, you know, wrap some wire and then do another 8,000 push-ups and then wrap some more wire. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. 65 watts? Really? Really, Jake Scrapwood? I'm just kidding. 
Um, these are a 0.18, so I'm going to turn them up much higher. And they're Fralians, or they're uh, Staggertons, rather. What did I say? Fralians? Have I been saying Fralians this whole time? That's These aren't Fralians. These aren't Fralians. Did I say Fralians like 8,000 times in a row? Fucking hell. <laughs> Staggertons, bro. They're Staggertons. If I was saying Staggertons, then cool. But if I was saying Fralians, and I really think I was saying Fralians... <laughs> They're not Fralians, they're Staggertons. 75 watts? Okay, eh, that's, that's a little bit more. Let's, uh, that's a little bit more what I'm after. Let's turn up. We're just going to round this off at like 82 watts. 0.18, 82 watts. I feel like that's okay. Let me put this Ultem cap on here. The Ultim cap on the TM24, I always have to spin on. Do you ever do that with top caps? You don't you don't press them straight down, but you kind of spin it as you're pushing it down. That's what I have to do with the TM24 every single time if I want to get my airflow the way that I like it, which is like that. All right, F and A, cotton. This is the super good butter number eight. Let's just have one pull. Temperature protect. Temperature protect. Temperature protect. Come on. Okay, what if I put it on Canthal? Uh, Canthal. Okay. Okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't concentrating on it. I was just trying to make sure it vaped. Let me have an actual toot here. Man, there's a lot going on in this liquid. Uh, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit with this for just a second. We're doing great on time tonight. So I'm going to mute my microphone. You won't be able to hear me. I'm going to mute it. But then I'm going to play some. Um, I'll play some music so you guys can hang out. I'm going to mute my microphone like this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Damn, this is good. Okay. There is, there's a hint, a hint of culotta in this. And that threw me way off at first. It's a, I wouldn't even call it a hint, dude. I would call it a whisper. I would call it a breath. I would call it a feather. <laughs> a feather? I would call it a whisper of culotta just to round out like that ice cream sort of sensation from the whole juice. So it's a real super good. There's, I has barely ever released a liquid that I haven't just gone head over heels for. There's a few, like there was a blueberry pomegranate mojito thing that I didn't really like. There was another cocktail one that I didn't really like, but all of their butters are like incredible liquids. I'm, and, and, and just in the interest of being what, you know, the most honest I possibly can be, I've mentioned this a thousand times, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing a thing We're I'm working with super good. We're collabing, uh, and it's going to be, it's going to be really great. I think it's going to be a really awesome thing in the UK. 
Um, this is peanut butter, grape, jelly, graham cracker, ice cream, peanut butter, grape, jelly, graham cracker, ice cream. And that's exactly what I taste right out of the gate. It, I get grape. There's a lot of grape in this inhale is like grape, graham cracker, vanilla, and I don't get any peanut butter until I exhale it. And when I exhale it, you do through the mouth and the nose. Allow me to demonstrate. Mouth and the nose at the same time. That's how you get the best flavor. Peanut butter comes out. The graham cracker really comes out. And the peanut butter, it's just a soft, it's just a soft, creamy little peanut butter. There's no weird like peanut butter, like peanut skin feeling like flavors that I used to get out of peanut butters. It's like a, a little delicate, creamy peanut butter, but it tastes like if I had to picture this as like a thing, I, I'm picturing ice cream with gra grape syrup on top. Like when you go to IHOP <laughs> and they have all the different uh, syrups on your table, the grape one, take some ice cream, vanilla ice cream, put some grape syrup on it. Take a, take a dollop of like real creamy Reese peanut butter, throw it on there and then take a graham cracker, break it in half and like stick it in the sides. Just mash it all up and eat it. That's what this tastes like. And I get the ice cream more. I associate it with ice cream because they added that little culotta, like a little bit of cooling to it. It kind of tricks your brain into thinking that you're tasting ice cream. If it didn't have that culotta, this would taste like, like a, like a vanilla frosting. It would be more like much more like a vanilla frosting, but because of that little culotta, it's a it's a solid ice creamy, ice creamy flavor. If you don't like PB and Jam from Jam Monster, you probably won't like this. It has a very similar ish grape jammy kind of flavor. The peanut butter is very different than the than the Jam Monster peanut butters. At least from what I remember, I haven't had it, the Jam Monster stuff since I was in New Zealand. So la uh, December of 2019, holy shit. Good. I love this. I really like this. Um, there has been two grape flavors in my life that I've enjoyed. One of them, I don't remember the brand. It was just called grape something and I really liked it. Anarchist Purple, that grape, I really, really liked. This has a little bit of like that artificially kind of grape flavor, which is why I said it's more of like a syrup, you know, like a whoop, just little grape syrup on your ice cream there. And that culotta, the culotta, the culotta exhale with the peanut butter and the ice cream and like the, I'm going to turn this up to 90 watts, by the way, that's what I'm doing. It, it all comes together in the exhale so deliciously, so deliciously. This is a complicated flavor. Dang. Worth a look. Worth a look. I was just intrigued. Peanut butter, grape jelly, graham cracker, ice cream. I'm thinking, fuck, I got to taste this. Paid off. This is kick ass. Well done, super good. You lived up to your name. Super good. Like I said, there's been very few super good liquids that I've tasted that I went, eh, it's not really for me. Everything else, fire. They did an apricot. I've been vaping the other new one. Uh, sorry, I'm not trying to just pimp out super good, but you guys deserve to know what good liquids. Orange apricot jam almond pastry. The butter 10. I've been vaping it out of a sub tank and it's been rad. Anyway, there you go. Super good eight. They are having a sale. If you Google it, you can find them. If you're shipping to the U.S., you get 50% off. Why not? Grim Green, I celebrate one year off of cigarettes today. Thomas, fucking A, Thomas. Congratulations. I love that, bro. Thank you for being here. I Thank you for celebrating with me. I feel honored. I feel really honored by that. Thank you. Digging this. This is going to stay set up. This is going to stay set up. <laughs> no questions asked. Dude, that was good. It's weird though. Like, look, it's weird, but it's really good. It's, I have weird, peculiar tastes with e-liquid, man. I like uh, that Poet Sweet Black Tea. I had, when I when I was vaping that Poet Sweet Black Tea and I was telling everybody like, oh, Poet Sweet Black Tea is so good. 
bunch of people bought it and I got so many angry DMs and emails of like, hey, I bought that pe- sweet black tea. I really hate it. It's really gross. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. So look, this is me absolving myself of any responsibility. If you try this and you don't like it, taste is subjective. Some people like uh, Sergio, no sugar in the coffee. No sugar in the coffee. Taste is subjective. Okay, let's wrap this up. Shit, it's 617. I think we could do a real quick retro vape and then uh, listen to some Christian death metal. You think that's, I think this is a great idea. I think this is a great idea. This has been the retro vaping that's been sitting here on my desk for literally weeks. And I just I want to show you it's still in the plastic, but we're going to be trying. Does anybody remember this? The E-Cab? The E-Cab. It, the E-Cab from uh, Joy Tech. Who's heard from Joy Tech in the last two years? Who? I ask you, who has heard from Joytech in the last two years? When did this when did this device even come out? Let me do some quick Googling. Uh, Joytech eCab. 2012. What? August 2012? That can't be right. Joytech eCab starter kit. 2012. 2012 we're going back to right now and you can see like this looks like 2012 technology the thing that trips me out about every retro vape every retro vape surf satisfying okay look the irishman you make a lot of good points there in the chat with the surf satisfying that shit's delicious that is crazy delicious i'm glad you liked that (laughs) i'm glad you like that um this ironically like think about that joy tech released the ecab in 2012 how many people do you think this got off of cigarettes probably a bunch right probably a bunch oh is that magnetic in there whoa that's kind of cool they magnetic it to the inside of their little oh fancy joy tech you fancy fuckers don't know what i'm doing right now i guess i should look at the uh Instruction manual. Does this come out? Hey, look at that. All right. Whoa. Okay. This looks interesting. I'm going to need the instruction booklet for sure. Maybe I should have watched a YouTube review first before I dug into this. It looks confusing. Came with, uh, oh God, it needs a battery? Does this really need a battery? Oh my God. This needs a battery. How does the, how does the, why, why does this say twist on the bottom? And there's like two little ball bearings. Do I need to press those in? Man, I feel like, I feel, I was like, oh, this is from 2012. This should be easy as shit. It comes with a 14500 battery charger. 14500 battery charger. I don't have any 14500. I don't have any 14500s. I don't I don't have any 14500s. I don't have any 14500 batteries to run this. Oh wait, there's a flathead screw. Okay, well let's keep exploring. Like pfft. I'm not going to give up now. Oh, okay. I see. No, that's the 510 pin because you have a little coil head guy here. I can't believe that this needs 14 500s to work. Oh, oh, yes. It needs 14 500 batteries to work. Anybody got any 14500s? Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a chance. There's a chance. 
Oh! Oh, it needs smaller than a 14500 battery. What the hell does this even run on? Is this the one that runs on double A's? Wait, is this the one that runs on double A's? You think I could put a double A battery in here? Like a triple A battery in here? No, this needs this needs a specific battery. I don't want to fuck around with batteries. All right, where's the instruction manual? E cab. E cab. See, like if I was a smoker right now, I'm pissed off. Uh, yeah. Changing the 3.7 volt, 360 ma lithium ion battery. Doesn't say what, even what model it is. Doesn't even say what model it is. It just says 360 ma. Wait, what does it say on the... I thought I had my glasses on. 10 440s. I need 10 440 batteries. 10 440s for the E-cab. What's the same size as a 10 440? 10 440s, dude. That is AAA sized batteries. And I don't want to use a AAA battery in here. I don't want to fuck with that. We're not going to get to vape the E cab. All this time, all this hype, I can't even vape the E cab. Did it come with batteries? Oh, it came with batteries. Holy shit. We might be able to vape this E cab. Yeah, they branded Joytech 10440s. These are this is the size of a AAA battery. No questions asked. That is definitely the size of a AAA battery. Okay, let's see if there's any charge left in here. Here. First things first, let me just throw this on the charger real quick and I'll set up the tank and running out of time. Is this going to be worth it to vape the E-cab? Good lord, I hope so. This uh coil head tank system looks hyper confusing crazy hyper confusing i can't get this coil head out of here okay got a dinky little weird coil head this dinky little weird coil head has a weird little spike on it and i'm assuming that we can take this little cartridge guy here. This has to go on here. Yep. Holy shit, I can't believe that's how this works. And the, wait, where does the airflow come from? Okay. This is gonna take way longer than I thought it was, you guys. I apologize. Battery housing, battery. Okay, I don't wanna know how to charge the battery. Okay, we're gonna. Um, okay, let's get some liquid here first. All right, we're going to be using some Turk. Insert the atomizer into the atomizer cone and screw the cone onto the battery housing in a clockwise direction. Excessive force may damage your product. How to add liquid to the tank cartridge. Insert the tip of the liquid bottle into the hole in the cap and fill. Insert the filled tank into the cone so that the plastic cap sits on the spike of the atomizer. Okay. I, so I had this right. There's this, this technology, maybe I take that back. Joytech, this may have helped nobody quit smoking. This may have helped nobody quit smoking. So we're going to fill this up with some 12 milligram Turk. Boom. Okay, it says don't overfill, so I don't overfill. Overfill. Gosh. Goes in here. All right, there's a little O-ring, and it's going to go on there. And then this goes on here, and then this gets impaled on that spike. Spike impalement. <laughs> okay, that is impaled. That is spike impalement. Dun 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 da dun 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 Spike impalement. It's been impaled. It's been impaled. I know, Sally, it's basically a build stream. It's basically the ECAB build stream. Okay. I'm gonna be really bummed if I get no charge out of this battery. Let's see. Shit. Okay, here's the thing. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to take this out of here and I'm going to 
I'm going to charge it. I'm going to leave it charging. We're going to, we're going to come back to this after we listen to some Christian death metal. So this is retro vaping part one. We're charging the e-cab battery. I got the spike. I got the cart filled up with some 12 milligram Turkish. I don't know if I should be holding this upside down. I feel like it's going to leak everywhere. So I'm going to charge that battery and then we're going to come back to the retro vaping and I'll even play the bumper again. So let's split the retro vaping in half. Let's get to know Grim Green just for a second. You know, we're going to listen to some Christian death metal together. I'm really excited about this. I kind of need to take another pee break, but we'll hold on to it. What? Bro, what? Bro, bro. We're going to split this up. Wait, forget what I said. I'm so <laughs> you need to remove one of the O-rings. It's not to oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> Michelle Lynn. <laughs> That's okay, Michelle Lynn. That's okay, Michelle Lynn. I appreciate that feedback. Two hours. Yeah, well, let's get to know Grim Green, and then let's come back and vape this E-cab. This E-cab, look, this is a vendetta for me. This E-cab has been sitting on my desk for four weeks now, and I finally was like, today's the day. E-cab, retro vape. Oh, Hi, you forgot you need to charge batteries for it. So we're going to vape this e-cab and we're going to listen to some Christian death metal. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Getting to Know Grim Green. I'm Grim Green. Let's listen to some Christian death metal, you guys. So uh, here's the story behind this. I don't have a record tonight to put uh, any songs into the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist, but we're going to get to know Grim Green a little bit by talking about my old Christian death metal band. Me and my buddy Jim started, we have been, we were in like 12 different bands together. It was like 10 different bands together. It was crazy. It was ridiculous. Like we started playing music together in high school and after high school, we just kind of kept playing together. We were a two man band for really large swaths of this band. We used to be, we were called a uh, death rally for a while. You know, we were called puppet for a while. We were called a uh, DFI for a while and then it's whatever. We just kept playing music together, kept playing music together, kept playing music together. And what we were into was like metal, you know? We listened to metal and we were real Jesus-y at the time. And I'm not saying that as like a slight on anybody that's that's Jesus-y. I like it when people have faith. Um, I used to be very, 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 very Bible thumpy Jesus-y. And we just, this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to play metal and that's it. And we played Christian death metal and we were called, we eventually, we were called The Uplifted. This was our album cover. It's pretty metal, you know? It's kind of, uh, you know, if you're going back to like peak 1997, 1998 metal, this is pretty well in line with that. Like graphically, you know, we were trying to be like uh, coalesce or converge or something like that, you know, uh, splashy drawings and drippy paintings and a cursive font that's like, ooh, so many drop shadows on that cursive font. Like, what are you doing? We were the uplifted. And this was our one and only full length release. Uh, and it was called Reflections and Doubts on Past Securities. And that's an interesting, <laughs> it's an interesting title. And this is the title track. We're gonna listen, you guys, to the title track. You everybody hear the dings going off? Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, that's just uh, the president of Casa texting me. That's fine. <laughs> We're going to listen to some Christian death metal. We're going to listen to the uplifted, but not before I show you this. This was a, a picture from a uplifted band practice. This is 1996, maybe 1996 and a half, somewhere in between 1996 and 1997. I... I bleached my hair all the time and I dyed it pink constantly. I dyed my hair pink. I dyed my hair green all the time. Pink was frequent. Pink came back a couple of times. And I just loved that bleached, you know, manic panic pink hair color. I, I don't know. I just loved the crap out of it. And I thought I looked awesome. I mean, I thought I was really on brand for some, uh, for some Christian death metal. And then uh, this is a shot of the band, you know, back in the day. Um, the, the fella in the corn t-shirt, that was our drummer at the time. We don't talk about him. 
in the middle, that's uh, that's one of my BFFs in the whole world. That's my buddy Jim. Uh, we've been friends since seventh grade, and we, like I said, we played in a lot of bands together. And then that's me, not wearing black on the end, the chubbiest one. Um, I'm wearing a, a gray T-shirt and a hat, and I thought this is what I'm going to wear when we take band pictures. This is what I'm going to wear. It's cool. It's whatever. Like if you were into Jesus and you were into metal, you didn't need to wear black, you know, to fit in or anything like that. So. I'm going to mute my microphone right now, and I want to take you guys on a journey into Uplifted. This is uh, this is the title track off of the Reflections and Doubts album. This is the song Reflections and Doubts, and uh, it's four minutes of pure, incredible Christian death metal. Can't I know you like those MMC, those Jesus bloodstains? Look, when you were into Christian death metal, like back in the day, there were a few books like Romans, you know, that really that was like Christian metal pay dirt was Romans, you know, the armor of God. We, we like to talk about, um, you know, like uh, sinners burning in hell and things like that. We had some positive, you know, we did a lot of positive uh, messages and things like this as well. But, you know, for the most part, we were very, hmm, very, very overtly, blatantly, like didn't care if we upset people sort of type of uh, Christian band, you know, and uh, it's whatever. This, I'm, I'm really proud of these songs. I don't want you to think that I'm downplaying the quality of these songs by saying it's a Christian death metal band. We were a Christian death metal band and we ruled. We were good. If I wasn't in this band, I would have listened to us because we were good. We knew what we wanted to play and we practiced our asses off and I think it turned out great. Coalesce and Converge, I know. Uh, musically, stylistically, we were not of the Coalesce or Converge. Um, we were moving, we, we were a death metal band, but we kind of had this little bit of a fascination with some genty stuff that had been coming out. I'm not sure if anybody here had ever listened to old Christian death metal, but like um, we, we, we were heavily influenced by bands like uh, Embodiment really early on, um, Tourniquet, Living Sacrifice, Living Sacrifice was a huge influence on us. And so we kind of went down that genty, a little bit of gentiness in it. Uh, it's not singing, but it is uh, my my death metal vocals. The way that I, Seventh Angel, Frank? Are you kidding me, Seventh Angel? Fucking A, Frank. Seventh Angel, awesome. Lament for the Weary. That is an incredible Seventh Angel album. Love Seventh Angel. I had the Seventh Angel Lament for the Weary album cover like blown up in my in my room when I was a young kid. Fuck yeah, Seventh Angel. So that's just kind of what we did. And most of the vocals that you're here, you hear will be mine. Uh, and my buddy Jim, he does a similar vocal, but it's a little bit higher. Mine is the lower of the vocals. And uh, I literally cannot wait for you guys to hear this. So let's hang out, uh, have a beer, have a vape, and let's listen to some death metal. I'm gonna cut off my mic and, and we'll just enjoy the crap out of this. It also starts off with the Lord's Prayer. So if you are a uh, practicing um, Christian Catholic and you say the Lord's Prayer, you can say the Lord's Prayer along with us uh, at the very beginning of this song. We thought it was real cool, you know, real like a cool thing to do, put the Lord's Prayer there. I still think it's cool. I think that's a baller move. Here you go. Anyway, this is 1997's The Uplifted, Reflections and Doubts on Past Security. You guys are in for a real treat. This is great. I'm, 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 I'm really pumped for you guys to hear this. You have to get a copyright strike. Let's go! 
gent. your face melted off is your face melted off by christian death metal that is a banger of a song i still love that song i would still play that song if i was in a band me and my buddy jim we're trying to start up a new band some metally shit but uh i love that that brings back so many memories for me we, we played that song all over the place and uh you know it's not like crazy overtly christian lyrics you know they, at the end there we're saying uh burn it all down like i don't, I don't know if that's you know, take that for, for what it's worth, but, uh, it was fun and, and I had a lot of fun and it was, uh, you know, I was, I was like 17, I was like 18 years old and now I was like 19. Okay. 19. I'm going to say officially 19 years old, maybe 20 when that was recorded. And, uh, I mean, that was, oh, that was over 13 years ago. Fucking no, it's longer than that. That's 23 years ago. Okay. Hi. I'm old. Do you guys ever feel old? Because I just feel really, really old. Really old. Well, Nephron, I'm not sure I can do those vocals anymore. If you, if, if people egg me on enough, maybe I, <laughs> maybe I could do it. But uh, that's it. That's the Uplifted. I, I'll post a link in the description to... Uh, the, the, a few of these songs are on YouTube. Um, you can buy the CD on Amazon, but it's like $38 for some reason. I have no idea why we didn't make that many, but there is one copy on Amazon. I have a copy of it. You know, uh, my buddy Jim kept all of our old band stuff. He's got a big tub and, uh, you know, we reminisce sometimes on Marco Polo. He'll be like, Oh, check this out. Check this out. Remember when we did. And like, we were on the cover of the Reno newspaper, like, we, we were a band, like we were legitimate. Like we had fun. We went to fests and tours and we played at uh skate core fest in Sacramento one year. And we played at Tom fest up in Stevenson, Washington. We played at the Texas rock fest in Texas. I loved it. I love there's, I mean, I had the most fun I've ever had in my life was being in a metal band because it's so fun. So fun. Anyway, that's the uplifted. That's a little background into me. Uh, I used to be able to do those vocals 
I'll try to shoot a video like this weekend or something, or maybe tomorrow when I'm shooting video, I'll, I'll set up uh, and, and I'll try to sing along to that and I'll do some vocals um, and maybe I'll put it on the Patreon. Yo, yo, put it on the Patreon. But that's the Uplifted. They have a, you know, a very near and dear place in my heart. I'm proud of what we did. I'm proud of the songs we wrote. And I'm looking forward to playing music again with my buddy Jim. Look at us. Look at these kids. Look at that. I'm, I'm, I, that's, well, I'm like 18 in that picture maybe. Look at this. Fucking pink hair. What? Why did that happen? <laughs> no glasses. I should have been wearing glasses, but I just didn't wear glasses. I don't know why. I drove around, dude, with no glasses. Um, I Rick Mahoney asking in the chat. I can still kind of play a little bit. I get out my bass every once in a while and I goof off. Um, Casey, my my amazing wife, got me an orange uh, an orange amp, like just a little orange practice amp for Christmas. And so I've been playing like guitar, guitar, like trying to learn some Metallica songs and stuff like that. Um, it's just really, really fun. I just like writing riffs and playing loud fucking music. Maybe next week we'll play some Glacier. You guys have heard the Swamp Donkey. I'm not sure if you've heard uh, the Mighty Glacier yet. That should be the Retro Vape theme song. Okay, now, timestamps. Back to the Retro Vape. Let's get this E-cab going. This battery has to have a little charge in it, right? Okay, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, uh, just give me a little bit. Just give me a little charge, baby. That's all I need. It lit up. Okay. E-cab, baby. So the way that this works, I don't know if you saw me put it together, but there is that little atomizer with a spike on it. And if you look down the spike, you can see cotton in the spike. And I'm assuming that cotton kind of comes down and then becomes like the coil, uh, you know, go through the coil of your atomizer. This is the tank. You just fill it up through the same spike hole, right? And then you jam this down in there and it lines it up with the spike and you kind of press it down on there. And the idea is kind of like the link, duh, the juice is gonna go down, gravity fed, down the cotton, through the cotton to your coils. This has been sitting here, sort of sitting and wicking for however long we listened to that uplifted song. Now the battery works, 10440 on the inside. I can categorically say that I have not used a 10440 battery since probably 2011, maybe even before that. I had a Cisco laser pointer mod that I used to run 510 atomizers on that used a 10440. I used to make one 10440 battery last all day, all day. Let's give this ECAB a little try. I'm gonna line up the button with the whistle tip it's got a very, very stiff, stiff airflow. I'm glad you like the uplifted, Scott. I appreciate that, man. It was just a lot of fun. I used to do them vocals too. Can't anymore. Yeah, it's a it's a skill. It's not just yelling. You know, uh, people people shit on metal musicians for screaming, but like, try it. <laughs> Fucking try it. Try it for one song. Try it for one. Fry, fry it for one verse of one song and then repeat that for a whole album and then go on tour and do metal vocals every night, you know, nine, 10 songs every single night of death metal vocals. It's a skill. You have to practice and you have to warm up and cool down. And it's like, it's a thing. If I tried to just yell right now and do death metal vocals, I would probably injure myself. It's something you have to like, work up to and get your skills up and you use you use your diaphragm and you use you whisper a little bit but really what you're doing is okay I'm not going to talk about <laughs> I don't want to go into the ins and outs of death metal vocals I could I might be able to teach you how to su successfully safely do death metal vocals so they don't so it doesn't hurt your throat that's how you have to do it anyway ecab right here we go ecab I know. I'm just messing with you, Rick. I appreciate you being here, bro. That just tasted bad and it was just air. It tasted like plastic, like a Chinese factory or something. Okay. It's on. It 
buttons firing. Okay, so I'm I'm sure that a lot of this is because this is from 2012. Like these coil heads have been sitting here for years, just years. They're probably not going to taste good. It's probably not wicking very well, but dude, I pressed the button. That vaped. That vaped. It tastes bad. Not burnt. Not burnt, just bad, just negative, just look, not, not burnt, which I'm surprised it's not burnt, but it's not burnt. The airflow is real stiff. And this is one of those like, dude, they designed this to kind of feel and handle a little bit like a cigarette, you know, it's like a, this reminds me of maybe a little bit of the old pen styles from back in the day. I love the manual switch pen styles. I took a device very similar to this. Like one of the first times I went to Las Vegas as a vapor. Still vapes, still vapes, taste terrible, taste terrible, but damn it, look, the Joytech ECAB was probably just some dumb little blip on the radar, you know, no, no hype, no, no reason. It was just 12, you know, 2012, but it truly and honestly probably helped a lot of people quit smoking. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like a corpse now, Nephron, <laughs> tastes like a, tastes like a corpse now. But I'm assuming at one point this had good flavor. Maybe not. I don't honestly remember much having good flavor in 2012. I, I don't remember any real good flavor in 2012. Oh, God. It's like, a, I don't know. It's like one of those, like, why do you keep hitting it? It's like you lick a deodorant stick and you're like, oh, my God. And then you just lick it again and you're like, oh, my God. And then you just lick it again. It's like, dude, stop licking it. Let me hit this one more time. Nope, didn't get anything. Mm. You're making a good point that Turk's Juice is 80-20. And 80-20 didn't exist in 2012. Okay, that's enough with the ECAB. Man, all right, look, I'm apologizing right now for the ECAB. That was a lot of hype for not a lot of payoff. But what I'd like to do now, we're just going to finish up this vlog. Of course, we ran long. I'd like to do the rest of these super chats. You guys want to see the uh, you want to see the bumper? Hey, you want to see the bumper there? Hey, let me show you the bumper. That's it. That's it. That's all you get. Um, I don't even remember where we left off here. Fishy. That's right. Vaking vapor. That's right. Uh, Archie. Lol, I wish I was 21. Be 49 on our birthday. I served for 21 years, joined at age 21. But yeah, complete BS. Complete BS, Charlie. I mean, Charlie, Archie. I'm on your side with this, Archie. I think that's garbage. I think that is... I, I don't know how... I, do, I legitimately do not know how people like Bloomberg sleep at night. I legitimately do not. I st it keeps me up at night thinking about smokers that aren't going to get access to vapor products because of fucking stupid politicians. That kind of keeps me up at night. Bloomberg is directly contributing to not only death and disease of smoking, but in certain countries where they have like fucking dictators, passing his tobacco control program there will mean people get fucking killed, Mike Bloomberg. Sorry, it is. It's complete BS. And, and I and I feel like it's, you deserve way better than that, Archie. You deserve way better than that. And it kills me that you are a vet and you're trying to quit smoking and the government is kind of just going, <laughs> nope, because of the kids. Fuck you. Thank you for serving. But because of the kids, I, it, it, I don't know how they sleep at night. I truly and honestly... It's frustrating. Uh, fact YouTube, please tell Glance that I'm self-medicated since 12 18 <laughs> the day I had my last smoke at 6.30 a.m. Yeah, I'll tell Stanton Glance. Here's another one for Stanton Glance. I've been self-medicating smoke-free since 2009. Nine. We had the worst, cruddiest, shittiest technology on earth. 
and some of us were able to make it work somehow. Uh, Justin, that's very gracious of you. Grim, should I send you my stream deck? It just sits in a box. Oh, no, no, Justin, don't send me your stream deck. I have a stream deck. I've just misplaced it. Truly and honestly, like, it's somewhere in my closet. It could be in this desk drawer. I've looked for it. I'll eventually find it. I don't need, I don't want to take your stream deck, my man. I can't, I can't possibly do that. Raymond, uh, but thank you. I mean, that's very gracious of you. Raymond, I just picked up a Kennedy 28. Yep. QP Gata, Spire Paradox, first MTL. Quit smoking in 2018. Been Siggy free since. Vaping saved my life. Where's the podcast with Ruby? Uh, well, I like that you just kind of snuck it in there at the end. I don't know if I'm ready to address that yet. Derek R. Jubbies. <laughs> One of these days in the random liquid tasting, Jubbies is just going to be like back. And everybody's like, oh, <laughs> Jubbies. Carl, what up, Nick? My wife, Tammy, and I have been stack stocking up on e-liquid and just bought two bottles of baked strawberry cream and banana. Can't wait to try them. You're the man, bro, and inspiration. Carl, thank you. Uh, thank you for the support, and I really hope you like that strawberry cream and that banana. That banana, you know, and a lot of people are like, oh, Bole Bole is like the best banana there ever is on earth ever created. And I'm like, it's really good. It's awesome. Dude, Bole Bole rules. This isn't designed to compete with Bole Bole. It's, it's a bit of a different take on banana. But I think it's, uh, as a banana guy who's been vaping banana for a, a long time, I really like it. Nick, I just wanted to stop by. Trey Watt, I've been working so much, haven't been able to catch a live stream. Trey Watt, I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you catching the replay. Just just work, man. Life happens. I'll be here. Don't don't trip. You're not missing much, man. You, did you see the ECAB thing? I mean, good Lord. <laughs> Joshy, my gosh, he petitioned for a new segment, Grim Metal. Well, I can play grim. I can play uplifted songs, and I can play swamp donkey songs, and I can play glacier songs. I can play songs of bands I'm in, but I can't just get up here and go, "Oh, this is uh, Sepultura, Roots, Bloody Roots." Let's just listen to it. Yeah, I wish. I wish I could. Maybe I'll be a DJ someday. Suburban Dirt Farmer. I need that uplifted record. Holy shirt balls! That was amazing. Oh, thank you, Suburban Dirt Farmer. Look, some of it is on uh, YouTube, and honestly, it gets heavier than that. That's not even. Like one of the heavier, heavier songs we did. Mike P, I'll teach you guitar if you teach me death vocals. All right, shit, deal. It's a good deal. I'm on board with that. Look, and honestly, I'm not the only person that's ever offered to teach death metal vocals. The reason I said that is because on Instagram, I see reels and TikTok videos of this dude who teaches death metal vocals. There's like two or three of these guys out there and they all teach you like, if you want to achieve this, you know, it's a this, you have to change your throat, open your throat up, whisper a little bit, you know, like do things like that. And they teach you how to do it. It's really bizarre. It is just a matter of conforming your mouth and throat to the right position. And then you just kind of exhale uh, loudly and it creates this like, like really deep kind of, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll teach you death metal vocals. De juggala towards another Delta eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I kind of completely forgot about that. How was it? Was the vlog okay? Did I get weird? Did anything get weird? Did I go off on like weird tangents? I didn't throw anything weird out there. Nothing nothing to get me canceled. All right. Well, good. All right, to juggle, I appreciate that. And lastly, we got one here. Man, we ran long, you guys. I appreciate you. Uh, we got one here from Keen. Page, I can't remember how to say your name, buddy. Keen. Uh, well, I'm super late, but I'll catch the replay. Sorry, I missed it. I've been MIA uh, for the last while, but happy late St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Fucking A, Keen. Welcome back, bro. Anytime. It's, there's, no, uh, there's no worries here. The gate, the gate is always open for you guys. Always. And I always, I always love it when, uh, when people, you know, like, like, like Patrick. I can't remember how to say his name. Damn it. Can't remember how to say your name, buddy. And I'm sorry. It's like, hey, I was gone. I'm back. I'm always here. It's the same thing. Same goes for me. Like I'm always here. I'm, 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 I'm every Thursday, a year from now, if you turn in to YouTube on a Thursday, you'll see me here. I'll be sitting here. I'm probably talking about the K fun. I'll probably be drinking beer. You're not sure, you know, I'll probably be ragging on Bloomberg, but I'll be here. And I appreciate you guys. Um, I think that's it. Holy crap. I think that's it. We ran long boy. We ran long and you know it. Anybody still need a beer? Anybody still need a beer? 
And it appears that I need water, actually, because I can't see that green six. All right. Let me take a quick look and make sure I didn't forget anything. Do I need to keep all these ECAB parts? I probably should, you know. It's it, it would be, uh, I feel like that would be a kind of a dick move if someone sent me a cool retro vape like this and I was just like, I don't like it and threw it away. I feel like that's a super dick move. So ECAB, you can go there. I think we got it all. I think we're good. I think we did it. Woo, we did it, you guys. Holy shit. You want to just keep going? Like I'm having fun. <laughs> It's too long. No, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it up. Look, I, I promise you guys like a three or four hour vlog at some point, and we will do that by myself. You know, no guests, no relying on guests. I'll do it by myself. I'll do a three hour vlog. I'll do a four hour vlog. I don't even care. Call the cops, disregard the constable. But I appreciate you guys coming out for the vlog. It's literally my favorite day of the week. I love that you guys love the vlog because I love the vlog. I love coming together with you guys and just being able to fellowship and hang out and talk and drink beer and listen to metal and talk about vapes and rag on Bloomberg and rag on glance and fight the good fight. It's, it's my pleasure. I serve at the pleasure of the vape community. And I thank you guys for being here for one more vlog. I'll see you guys uh, next week. We're definitely doing build streams next week. I believe it's a regular uh, full week. I'm stalling right now because I'm trying to get my, vlog stuff situated over here so that I can do this. But uh, yes, now one last time, you guys. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. You guys that make it to the end, you're just my favorite people on earth. If I ever get the opportunity to meet you in real life, which will happen, by the way, it will happen. Uh, I do dispense crisp high fives. We go in for the full hug. I don't even care. I'll hug everybody. I just miss, I just miss hugging people, you know? Not that I don't like hugging my wife. Like she's great and everything, I guess. But man, I miss hugging people. I just miss, you know, humans were meant, we're social people. We're meant to hang out in groups, you know? We're meant to have face-to-face -face interaction and, and, and that human connection. And we've been robbed of that for, for way too long for, for questionable reasons that I don't necessarily agree with. And I miss that human component. So it's gonna happen, you guys. Anyway, thank you seriously so much for watching. Remember that no matter what anybody tells you, especially Stanton Glantz or Mike Bloomberg, vaping is and will continue to be at least, maybe more, but at least 95% less harmful than burning deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. It's less harmful than lighting a plant on fire and then inhaling the smoke. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that modern technology, vaporization, could replace lighting trees on fire and inhaling the smoke? Much less harmful for you, and uh, I appreciate you guys out there. Keep fighting the good fight. Kevin Young, Derek, yo, yo, I too, you guys. Scott Jenkins, I see you here every week, and I never say hi, but I appreciate you, man. Let's keep doing this. Uh, don't let the man get you down. Keep on vaping, you guys. Be excellent to each other, okay? Peace out.